Kenny, you ready for game time? Join me, Sal from Behind Eric Basketball, as I announce play-by-play. -play. Make sure to smash the like and subscribe, because now we're about to go live. Entering the pregame, we now present Sal from Behind Eric Basketball. And what's good, everyone? Welcome in. Glad to have you guys in the stream here tonight. So we got a good matchup in store to Boston Celtics. Top team in the NBA, record of 59 and 16, is hosting the Oklahoma City Thunder, record of 52 and 23. If you're new in the stream, make sure to smash the thumbs up, hit the like, hit the subscribe, ring the notification bell as well. The rainy, pouring night here. And, uh, they're taking place at the TD Garden, downtown Boston. Celtics wrapping up six home games out of their last seven games in the schedule and tonight a big one for the celtics they come in heavy favorites on the line shea gilgis alexander is not playing tonight for oklahoma city for their star player but boston can clinch the overall number one seed in the nba for home court so they get entire home court advantage if they do win this one tonight for the celtics what's good vegas daniel charlisa mario in the stream welcome in sorry to hear once again mario that you're sick man it seems like it's been going on for like a month right now um hope hopefully you get better really really soon right there yeah i saw Devin carter no longer uh gonna be playing for providence in the future but uh best of luck man to uh, the NBA draft there with Devin Carter, just an absolute warrior. One of my favorite PC Friars of all time. And I uh, cannot wait to see what's in store for the NBA. And I'm fully confident that Kim English is going to bring in a lot of good replacements for next season. And uh, pick up some key transfers in the transfer transfer portal as well to help out PC for, for next year. But Boston coming in, big favorites on the line. Jalen Williams and Shea Gildas Alexander both listed out tonight for this matchup. Jalen Brown is back for Boston. Didn't play in the last game on Monday against Charlotte, but he is back once again. The Celtics attempted more than 50 threes in that game against Charlotte. They were down in the first half. They were down early. Uh, they were down at the end of the first quarter, and then they started to uh, take advantage in the second quarter. Once they started to drill their shots, then they uh, took the lead, never looked back, and won the last game by 14, 118 to 104. Back-to-back -back wins, but the Celtics coming in with two straight victories. The Thunder are coming off a loss on the road at Philadelphia, 109-105 to yesterday. So this is game two of the back-to-back -back for Oklahoma City tonight. The Celtics looking to avenge this loss because Boston played OKC to start off the new year. That was on January 2nd, the first game to open up 2024. And the Celtics in a back-and-forth game lost that one, 127-123 at OKC but yeah this is a good matchup here for Boston this could potentially be like a little sneak peek possibly at like an NBA finals matchup potentially depending who comes out of the west the west is like open between a bunch of teams out of there and Oklahoma City was at the top of the west on Monday but their loss yesterday against Philly showing why the Western Conference is just so deep. Now they fell back to third right now at the West. So Denver is taking a number one seed away. Denver is a half a game behind or a half game above Minnesota and OKC right now at the top spot of the Western Conference. The Minnesota and Oklahoma City both tied at 52 and 23. Denver's up ahead at first in the West at 53 and 23. What's well, good, Arku in the street? Welcome back in, man. Yeah, this should still be a pretty good game. Celtics have been playing down recently to a lot of their opponents. Uh, Boston's really going to have a heads up and uh, know what's at stake tonight for this one here. If they win this one, then they get home court advantage throughout the entire playoffs, which the Celtics this year have been just incredible at home. 32-3 and 
for their home record this season for Boston coming into this one. Thunders 23 and 15 on the road. Celtics going to play their final six out of seven games at home. So it gives the home crowd quite a bit of a treat here to close out the season, but probably going to see a lot of their starters resting or so for like the next like two weeks. If everything goes according to plan for Boston, win more, one more game, that's all you need out of the seven, and you clinch home court throughout the entire playoffs. Ice Ice Baby, welcome back in. Alex in the stream, welcome back in, man. We're going to tip off, I believe, in around from five to nine minutes from now. It's an ESPN nationally televised game. I'm also getting it over on NBC Sports Boston as well, so I believe that... It tips off around like 15 minutes past the bottom of the hour. I think that's like 7.45 when they usually tip off ESPN tip-off times. JD, welcome back in, man. Yeah, um, I think there was a lot of shock about that trade, too, that he got traded from... He, he got traded to Portland first for uh, Drew Holiday, and then the Blazers just uh, gave the Celtics a gift. As they traded Drew Holiday off to Boston with that uh, Rob Williams and Malcolm Brogdon trade. Jason, what's good? Let's uh, get that Dono hype for Jason out on the stream, man. Hopefully, uh, you're doing well today, and hopefully everybody in your area is doing well. I heard about those storms. Jeez. I saw the video that the kid got blown across campus at uh, UK yesterday. It's crazy. Um... There was a lot of videos that were posted about like tornadoes in the area. We're actually in the we're in like the storm path right now. So for some reason, I if I do lose power, that means that we've lost it from the storm. It hasn't been that bad though. It's just been like downpouring rain today. They said gusty winds, but we haven't really got those gusty winds or so. But I saw um, towards like Ohio and Kentucky, it was a lot of like tornadoes that went down last night so uh prayers to all those and uh hopefully everybody's staying safe out there sending thoughts and prayers out to those who are in the path right there wow <laughs> yukon does not have a plane to fly to arizona at the moment yikes yeah maybe bob Kraft can uh help out with that and give him the patriots plane to uh fly all the way across the U.S. So, uh, maybe Bob Kraft will help out with that. Well, we shall see. Wow. Yeah, I talked about in my streams about the travel. That's, like, the only thing that UConn hasn't been used to in a long, long time that could possibly, like, throw them off. But I still think UConn's just so, so dominant for them that they should be able to pick up the win i'd be shocked there the only uh ways would be they get thrown off with the travel which right now they don't have a plane they haven't traveled since the marquette game to begin the month of march that's like 30 days ago since they last took a plane like early march i think it was like march 3rd and uh against marquette in a road game and then the other thing is if alabama drills like 20 plus threes then alabama has a chance to win that Oh, wow, that's awesome. So, uh, congrats there to Jason's cousin getting on the honor roll this year at Kentucky. That's awesome. So, we're going to tip off shortly. Thanks all for showing up, being a part of the stream. Um, I haven't release like a schedule out in the community tab for like the past couple of days so if you're wondering why um i haven't been sure like if i was going to be going live for for monday and today because i've been training one of my uh one of the new show hosts so i've been working like a lot of overtime lately for me so i'm not getting home until like 6 30 ish because now i work two extra hours on the weekdays until further notice so i'm at work till six o'clock now for me so a lot of it depends if i'm able to like get back in time and then make dinner um fast enough or so to be able to start my streams and stuff like that yeah it's a, a lot of a lot of this week is for me 
it's a lot of like question marks like like basically like we'll play it on the go or so i i have two games for baseball on saturday and then i got the call today that they might cancel but they're not sure um or they might push up the games to friday which i have two games already on friday and i'm, and I'm covering for softball because i took off both of those days from work so it's been just it's it's been a lot lately with a with a bunch of stuff so i don't know if i'll have to prep for prep for those or not for saturday but we'll see probably by the time we get to tomorrow i'll probably learn more about it hey what's good kevin on the stream welcome in um yeah i think if if they can uh, upset UConn in the, ch in the championship game, I think they got an opportunity right there. I would go UConn for my uh, preference first, in, for my opinion. But I do think Purdue has a chance to redeem themselves. If if UConn does get into fall trouble in that national championship game, then uh, Purdue has an opportunity right there to win that game, especially if the fall trouble goes against uh, Donovan Klingon. If both of those teams meet up in a championship game. Plus, if Purdue is, if they drill a bunch of their threes, they have a good opportunity too. So, same thing with Alabama. Alabama is going to have to make like 15 plus, 20 plus threes to knock off UConn. They're going to, UConn just so dominant, beating teams by double digits, like this tournament and last tournament. All right, we're going to tip off in just a moment. If you guys are new in the stream, make sure to smash the thumbs up, hit the like, hit the subscribe, ring the notification bell as well here on the channel. Jaden Springer, the lone Celtic, listed out tonight for this matchup. Shea Gilgis Alexander and Jalen Williams for uh, J-Dub. Both of them are listed out tonight for OKC. So those are two major losses right there with the top two players on the team. And that's why the Celtics are coming into this game as a 12 and a half point favorite on the line. Boston's back at home. They've won two straight games in a row over the Pelicans on Saturday. They beat the Charlotte Hornets on Monday, 118 to 104. Looking to see if they can make it a three in a row here for Boston. They're 32 and three in their home court. And if they win this game, they also would clinch home court advantage for an entire NBA playoffs. So the magic number for best record in the NBA at today is uh, today, if they can reach win number 60, they would have it for the Celtics. They can pick up win number 60 in the final six games left of the season after this one. A 59-16 record, and the Nuggets are a half game above OKC and Minnesota at first in the West now, and then a tie for second between Minnesota and the Thunder. About to tip off here, Celtics, white jerseys, green numbers, green leathers for this matchup, going left to right on the floor, starters. Drew Holiday, Derek White, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, Chris Stas, Porzingis going up against Oklahoma City with Josh Giddy, Aaron Wiggins, Kaysen Wallace, Lou Dort, and Jet Holmgren. And we are underway as OKC had it off the tip and then lost it quickly out of bounds. So this is going to be Celtics ball to begin. Yeah, just reached 25K a week ago. Boston is, they're going to go right to left in the floor. Oklahoma City will go left to right. OKC, orange uniforms, blue numbers, blue letters. Celtics with their home white jerseys, green numbers, green letters as we are underway. Celtics with the basketball at the top of the key, Tatum. He's working on home grid 101. Dribbles inside the paint, Tatum. Flings it out, left corner. Brown back in the lineup. Takes the three, no good. Offensive rebound controlled by Porzingis. And Porzingis gets followed off the bounce pass as we stop the clock. Yeah, so uh, the solar eclipse is coming up on Monday. That's a big event. I, I also heard that there's already one school in Rhode Island that's canceled for early dismissal to let the students out because of the solar eclipse for, like, student safety. But the solar eclipse isn't going over Rhode Island. It's going over, like, the top part of New Hampshire. That's the closest that will be from that region. Poor Zingas off the spin move. Puts it up, puts it through. It's good for two. First 45 seconds of action. The first possession now for OKC. Out to the wing, it is a three. Missed off the front, and no good by Holmgren. It comes out with an offensive rebound in the corner. He drives on Porzingis, has position. Right past Porzingis to the cup, scores up and in off the backboard. 2-2 two -two now the score. Chet Holmgren gets the first bucket for the Thunder tonight. First minute of action, White at the top of the key for the Celtics. Dribbles towards the left wing. 
Lobs it off top of the free throw circle. Porzingis, he's defended one on one. Up fake, gets past the defender. Swings it off to the wing. White with an open three. Bricked off the back heel. Rebound secured by Holmgren. So now Oklahoma City with their second possession in the game here. Holmgren dribbles up to the right block. He backs his way in the white. Holmgren inside the key. Puts up the shot. No good. Wide left of the rim. It goes right back over to the Celtics here. Boston with a possession. Tatum backs his way inside the key. Tatum leans four. Tatum off the glass. No good. Tipped in though for two somehow, some way. Going to get the bucket there for Jason Tatum. 14 now for Boston. Slow tempo for both of these offenses so far to begin this game. Spin move inside the paint. The pass looking to send it off to Giddy. Got touched by Giddy off the trail out of bounds at the turnover. So Oklahoma City commits the turnover. Celtics with a possession. Two minutes plus into action so far. Tatum at the elbow. Rises for the J over Giddy. No good. Around the room and out to Holmgren. Collects the defensive rebound. Up the floor, Chet Holmgren steps into a wide open three transition. Bricked another one. 0 for 2 so far. This came by Jet Holmgren. The Celtics have it up the floor here with Jalen Brown. Brown crossover. Dribbles up. Low block. Brown working on one defender. Kick out to the top of the key. Poor Zingas pops up. Shoots the three right down the middle. He delivers. 7 to 2 now for Boston. Good start for the Celtics so far. Setting their tone in their home floor. They know. You win this game, you get the overall number one seed home court advantage in the entire NBA playoffs. Holmgren sends it out to the wing. Bobbled out of bounds. Turnover committed by the Thunder. So Aaron Wiggins around the perimeter. Had it in his hands. Lost it. Results in a turnover. Quick second turnover to game here for OKC. Celtics with the ball once again. Lob inside the paint. Brown missed the mark of the pass. Deflected, intercepted. They got numbers here. Three on the one transition. They'll dunk it down. Casey Wallace with a two-handed flush. Hey, what's good? Jay Ramirez, welcome back to the stream, man. Tatum's going to spot up. Take a three around the rim and out. No good, though. Rebound controlled by Aaron Wiggins. They're without two key players today in this game. J-Dub with Jalen Williams and also... As Josh Giddy scores at the rim for two more. Also without SGA, their star player, Shea Gildas Alexander. White lobs it over to Porzingis. Porzingis backs his way, moves it out on top. Derek White catching fire, missed off the rim, no good. A rebound out of the pack, controlled by Lou Dort. For the Thunder here, down by one for OKC. Transition three, Dort bricked off the back rim. Battle for the rebound, tipped up, and it goes back to the Celtics here with Holiday. Four minutes into action so far, one for five shooting from three. For the Celtics here for three, for the Thunder, right to the rim. Tace, Jason Tatum able to drive it to the hoop, and he cuts home, scores with a right-hand layup. Nine to six now for Boston, top of the key. So they will dribble drive inside here. Turn around, jumper, mid-range, swoosh. That's made for two by Aaron Wiggins. Jason with another dono. You the legend, brother. Really appreciate it for the dono. Under seven and a half left to go in the first. Fast pace game so far. Holiday kick out corner. Right handed pass. Tatum off to Porzingis. Pops up, shoots another three. He delivers. Bang, bang once again by KP. The big fella finding his stroke so far tonight. Two main threes, eight points. Perfect three for three from the floor by Porzingis. Giddy crossover, drives, floats with the runner over. Brown, cash home, up and in off the backboard. Good for two as he banks it through. Back and forth, back and forth we got here. Holiday shovels off to White at the left wing. White sends it down on top over to Brown. Dribble drive inside a pain. Jalen Brown right to the cup scores with a right hand finger roll as he makes the layup. 14-10 now for the Celtics. Good pace so far this game right now. Zero clock stoppages. No personal fouls. Case and Wallace, rookie from Kentucky, underneath slices defenders. Kick out to the corner. Aaron Wiggins drives on Tatum. Floats up a tough shot. Gutted a drop, though, up in and off the glass. It is good for two by Wiggins. 14-12 now. The Thunder without their top score, SGA. Keeps on responding in this game. Hanging and tough. Going to take us to the first... Media timeout of the game as the ball gets poked out of bounds. 14 to 12 left to go. Actually, Boston with Joe Mazzulla, he was right in front of where the ball was poked out of bounds. He'll take the timeout right here. So, Boston will take the timeout. 14 to 12 remaining. So, we head to the first timeout tonight. 
All right, 624 left to go in the first. If you're new in the stream, make sure to smash the thumbs up, hit the like, hit the subscribe, ring the notification bell as well if you'd like to be notified for future live streams. We're just getting started with this one here. And um, good, good pace to begin this game so far today right now. Porzingis out to an excellent start. Perfect three for three. Eight points by Porzingis. Two made threes. Tatum's got four so far. Two by Jalen Brown exploding to the rim. Really like the style that Boston's played in this game. Like, they're on full-time attack mode so far. They're, they're two for six from three. They've attempted a couple open looks from three. Couldn't convert on those, though. But uh, I like what they've been doing. Attacking, getting to the rim. Both of the threes were made by Porzingis. So we know that someone's got their strike tonight. And uh, who has is the seven-foot-three sniper. On the floor, knocking down shots. The Thunder, though, resilient early on. Keep on bouncing back. Six for ten, shooting yet to make a three. They're without SGA and uh, keeping up right now so far against the Celtics here in the first five and a half minutes. Yeah, Celtics are just out on full control in the East. It's so open in the West. Denver, 53-23. and 23. They're at the top of the West right now. And then Oklahoma City, they lost yesterday at Philly. So Philly allowed, uh, with that win yesterday, allowed Oklahoma City to drop down to 52-23. and 23. So OKC, 52-23. and 20, 23. That's the same record as the two Wolves, 52-23. and 23. Nuggets are 53-23, and 23, half game ahead. And then the Celtics have the top record in the NBA at 59 and 16. Boston's only lost three times in their home floor, and they wrap up in their final six out of seven games are at home. 32 and 3 on their home floor, 27 and 13 on the road, and uh, 59 and 16 overall this season, looking for win 60 for the Celtics. So, uh, so the records Boston is 59 and 16. I'll bring those up here. We're coming back from the timeout. I'll get those. Right there below the text. So Boston is 59 and 16. Oklahoma City is 52 and 23. So both of those, if you're looking for the numbers too, uh, both of those are below the text for the team names too that I have. Yeah, nah, I, I don't think anybody's gonna be touching the Celtics in the Eastern Conference playoffs because Boston against conference teams this year right now is 39 and nine. Over uh, in their division, they've only lost one division game this season, 15-1 and one, against their Atlantic division teams, which are the Knicks, Sixers, Nets, and Raptors. So we go back from the timeout. Porzingis receives the pass, takes the jump, or free-toe circle that time. He missed off the mark right there. He's looking for the foul call, a little bit of contact with Josh Giddy. No call, but the referee's Giddy drives over Porzingis. No good. Porzingis able to alter it. First time of the game for Al Horford. Outside, here's a three. Brown off the back heel. No good. Rebound secured by OKC. Yeah, looking at the East, maybe Milwaukee. But, uh, yeah, I, I think the Heat's the one. Like... I'm very worried about the first round matchup for the Heat, but just if they get that one, that's the thing. It all depends, but still, they're capable. They should be able to. Hauser looking to break the tie. He does. Bench points right there for the first time tonight. Five twenty left to go in the first. Back and forth, back and forth. Okay, you can see he's shooting 58% from the floor right now. Giddy fires a fastball. Right baseline dribble. J. Will to the cup. Gets fouled from behind. He'll shoot two. I think what could be more interesting is if the Pacers and the Bucks take on each other. But, okay, for that to happen, Milwaukee would need to fall behind Cleveland 
for that to happen. And right now, Milwaukee's one and a half games above Cleveland at the moment. Um, the Pacers are sixth in the East, and then the Bucks are second in the East. So it, they would have to have the Bucks fall and uh, swap spots with Cleveland in order for that to happen. Right there, between six and two, they would need Milwaukee to swap to a six and three. A turnover by the Celtics off the inbounds as Oklahoma City just made the basket right before they brick the three though off the back rim. Goes right back over to the Celtics here. Brown drives, kick out to the corner, intercepted. Sam Hauser is open in the corner, but great steal right there. Picked up for OKC. They bricked it on the back rim three. No good by OKC. They get the rebound and put it back up and in with a three ball. Josh Giddy makes the triple. Three second chance points there. Isaiah Joe is the one who picked it off in the corner. Giddy's got nine so far. Horford has it around the perimeter. Sends it off to Pritchard. First time on the floor tonight. Pritchard, Horford, Hauser, Brown, and White. That's the five in the court currently for the Celtics. Brown gets the double team off to Hauser into the hands to Brown here. Two in the shot clock. Brown, tough shot. Fall away. Takes it off the rim. No good. Battle for the rebound. Pulled down by Giddy and. I think it's going to be coming back here. Looks like a loose ball foul picked up charge to Oklahoma City. Yeah, Al Horford was trying to get there off the box out, and it was. So, this is going to stay Celtics basketball here. Kicked. Yeah, it got kicked, actually. So, no foul. It was actually kicked by J-Dub, Jalen, or uh, J-Will, Jalen Williams, number six who kicked the ball coming up for the rebound. Porzingis checks out of the game right now. He heads towards the bench. Actually, my clock's a little bit off right now. Okay, we're down to 409 left to go. It's like a minute off. Down low, nice pass by Pritchard underneath, up and it off the glass. Good for two by Horford. Great assist right there. Under four minutes left to play in the first top of the key here's a wide open three no good bricked off the back room by j will tipped out of bounds last touched referee is gonna say out of bounds by okc hey what's good ward welcome in the stream man inbound here for the thunder Kenridge Williams attacks in the paint and left hand. No good off the glass. It was missed over Horford. Rebound control by White pushing tempo. Brown, your step to the rim. No good. Missed with a left hand finish as well. Rebound secured by Giddy here for the OKC defense. Up the floor crossing midcourt. Goodrich Williams working on Sam Hauser. Bumping bodies inside the key. Took the shot. Blocked from the side by Brown. But Giddy got it back. Skip pass. Right corner. Wallace dribbles up. Baseline drive. And Wallace contacted by Hauser. And fouled. So stop the clock now with 312. It's going to be an inbound coming up here on the floor for Oklahoma City. 19 even. Actually, actually no, they're going to give him the free throws. So they're going to give Case and Wallace the free throws. They say it was on the shot. And the foul occurred by Sam Hauser. Tatum will check back on the floor. So two shots here at the free throw line for Case and Wallace. First one's good. If you're new in the stream, make sure to smash the thumbs up, hit the like, hit the subscribe, ring the notification bell as well if you guys would like to be notified here for future live streams on the channel. Case and Wallace, second free throw coming up at the line for OKC. It's up, it's good. 21-19 for the Thunder. Just above three minutes left to play in the first quarter of action. Tatum back into the game. He's on the floor with White, Pritchard, Horford, and Hauser. Pritchard. Moves it off to Hauser, back over to Pritchard. Drives inside the paint, working on Goodrich Williams. Pritchard, off fake. Thinking about the turn around, what up, got clobbered and fouled. And this will send Pritchard here. Coming up to the free to line, shooting two. We're going to take a timeout first, though, on the floor. Oklahoma City will take one with 2.53 left to go in the first. Oh man, sorry to hear that, Jason. My uh, my thoughts are right with you and um, your family. That's so so sorry. Send my thoughts and prayers and uh, 
My thoughts are right with you, man. And uh, stay strong there, brother. Tough game so far from three-point range for both of these teams. Poor Zingas has made the most threes out of anybody. He's made two threes. Now to a great start so far with eight points. Josh Giddy leads the way with nine points for OKC so far. Uh, I got a question earlier about um, the locker code. I'm actually not watching this game on ESPN. I'm watching this game on NBC Sports Boston. So um, I actually have it not on ESPN right now. I think I think they might have bl blacked it out. I'll, I'll take a look and see. Huh. Oh, they switched the game, actually. So this isn't even the game on ESPN. It was supposed to be the ESPN game, and they switched it to put on Grizzlies Bucks. Is that what, is that what I'm seeing? I I think so. I'll do a double check on that throughout the scoreboard. It, it says, though, on the website, uh, Thunder Celtics ESPN, but on my YouTube TV, I have it as Grizz Grizzlies versus Bucks ESPN for some reason. That's weird. Hey, what's good? Ron in the stream. Welcome in. Thanks for joining in. Blazers up over the Hornets 45-44. Lakers lead the Wizards 60-51 right now. The Hawks leading the Pistons 28-23. And uh, we're just getting started. 2.53 left to go on the first tier. Celtics, lead, or, uh, Celtics are trailing by two at the moment. They were leading throughout the majority of this game. And uh, Pacers are leading the Nets now 29-15. Yeah, I'm just going to do a double check on that because I, I have it on NBC Sports Boston. I saw that it's on ESPN, and yeah, it's on ESPN as well. I don't know why YouTube TV labeled it as Grizzlies versus Bucks, even though I'm viewing Celtics versus Thunder, but I get it on NBC Sports Boston. That's what I usually um, have it on because I think it's a little bit ahead of ESPN. Peyton Pritchard, two free throws. He nails down both of them. Coming back from the timeout, we're tied now at 21 apiece. Under three minutes left to go in the first. Thunder with a possession. They cross midcourt with Isaiah Joe. Left wing perimeter. Joe hands it off towards the right off the dribble over to Lou Dort. Outside goes back to Joe. Pass on top over to Jalen Williams. Here's a dribble drive up to the key. Kick out quarter. Up fake here. Dribbling inside with OKC. And now will be a shot clock violation. Could he get it off in time? Now it'll be a turn over there. Gordon Hayward for uh, Oklahoma City. Former Celtic right now on the floor. First time that he's playing against his former team. Remember, the Thunder now used to play for the Hornets after he uh, played for Boston. Tatum off the offensive rebound. Quarter three to air. Right down the middle delivers. 24-21 Celtics. Al Horford kept it alive for that critical offensive rebound. Thunder with a possession. Jay, Jay Will outside. It goes into the hands of Jay Will inside the paint here. Here's a three taken by Dort off the back heel. No good. Tipped it by Tatum off to Horford for the defensive rebound. Up the floor now to Holiday up fake. Top of the key. Sends it over to Horford. And missed the mark of the pass. That's a turnover. So he was looking to send it off to Hauser in the corner. Hauser was not anticipating that pass though. It's a early turnover for the Celtics. Not too many turnovers so far this game. It's only the second one tonight by either team. 
Lou Dort spots up for a three from the corner. Another missed three off the mark. No good by Dort. Tatum collects the defensive rebound up the floor here with Holiday. Holiday looking to pass off to his teammate. Fires the fastball right corner. Pritchard lob down low over to Horford. Up and in off the glass with possession. Good for two. 26-24. Excellent balance here so far tonight for the Celtics. 8 by Porzingis, 7 by Tatum, 6 off the bench by Horford, 3 by Hauser, 2 each between Pritchard and Brown. And the shot's no good, down low by Lou Dort. Deflected up in the air, the Celtics come down with it. Holiday crossover at the left wing, jacks up the 3 by Drew, off the back room, no good. Peyton Pritchard, Pritchard out, hustles everybody for the offensive rebound. Pritchard underneath, dump off to Horford, able to roll around the rim, it goes in for 2 more. 28-21 Celtics. Under 40 seconds left to go in the first. Nine zip run. Last two minutes plus for Boston. Dort sends it outside. Wide open three straight away. No good. Around the rim and out. Missed by OKC. Outlet pass. Pritchard ahead of the pack over to Drew. And he scores the open layup. 30-21 to 21 for the Celtics. Peyton Pritchard looking excellent tonight coming off the bench. A plus eight out there. Already facilitating three assists in five minutes. Dribble drive down low, and Dort gets bumped into and followed. And he'll shoot two coming up at the free to line. Down to 17 seconds left to go. Excellent outlet pass right there by Peyton Pritchard up ahead over to Drew Holiday behind a D. Twelve to one run right now as the Thunder finally are able to get on the board to make the free throw. The Celtics before that they were trailing 21 to 19, and then it was 30 to 21. Thunder just made the, the free throw to put it to an eight point game. Second free throw by the Thunder right down the middle. Seven point game. Final 15 seconds left to go in the first. Shea Gilgis Alexander listed out tonight, same as. J Dub Jalen Williams, number eight for the Thunder, also listed out. So key, two key players, especially one of the top scorers in the NBA this season with SGA up faking a three, missed off the back room, no good by Hauser. And we close out at the end of the first quarter. Peyton Pritchard getting his teammates involved so far. Three assists. He is the top playmaker through the first quarter in five minutes by Pritchard. Leading score, Porzing is popping up, making two threes from the perimeter. He's got eight, seven by Tatum, six by Horford coming off the bench, and the Celtics out to a seven-point advantage at the end of one, 30-23 to 23 to score. All right, if you're new in the stream, make sure to smash the thumbs up, hit the like, hit the subscribe Ring the notification bell if you'd like to be notified here for future live streams in the channel. And great start here for the Celtics so far in this game. Controlling the game early on. And then the Thunder came back. The Thunder led by two. And Boston exploded. Closed out on a 12-2 run to close out the end of the first quarter. Yeah, feel free. Uh, uh, Ron's been on the stream for quite a bit of time. If you're interested, Ron, in uh, being a moderator... Let me know, and I can uh, hit you up in the blue wrench if you're interested there, man. So he's been here for quite a bit of time, coming out supporting these streams. So the magic number is one. If the Celtics win this game, they'll have number one throughout the entire playoffs for home court advantage as long as they're in it. And they already wrapped up the Eastern Conference number one seed a while ago. That was like two weeks ago, approximately. Really important time this season, especially for those teams that's like fringe on the line right now. The Lakers doing their job. Only up by five, though, currently in 
The final six seconds before halftime, 65-60, to 60, Lakers are leading the Wizards. A couple of games already went to half right now. The Blazers leading the Hornets 45-44 at half. And then the Hawks currently in a playing game in the East, too. They're leading the Pistons 32-28. Pacers up against the Nets by 10, 31-21. Raptors and T-Walls tipping off right now. Same as the Magic and Pelicans. Yep, Celtics with uh, some big runs. I don't think there'll be any big ear runs here for Boston. Unlike last week, they blew a 30-point lead at Atlanta. This is a home game. It's a game that if you win this, you get home court advantage for an entire playoffs for the Celtics. And, and this should be one that they take care of business. 12.5-point favors. No Shade Gildas Alexander tonight for the Thunder, one of the top scorers in the league. Celtics shot the ball 46%. They held OKC to just 36% shooting in the first quarter. Jumper deep to former Celtic Gordon Hayward out there on the floor. Took the jumper from 18 feet away. Missed off the back rim. No good. Celtics with the basketball. Tatum on the floor with Porzingis, Horford, Holiday, and Pritchard to start off the second quarter of action. Tatum dribbles back out to the left wing. Now he dribbles up. Drives in the home green. Inside the paint. Tatum got it stripped out of bounds. It will... Stay Celtics ball here. Seven in the shot clock. Warren with a dono. Let's get that dono hype for Warren here. Yeah, sure. I could uh I can hit you up on one, Ron. So uh, we w welcome in Ron into uh, the mod squad here into the channel. So uh, moderators, what they do if anybody posts like anything that's like inappropriate in the chat, just um, just remove it from the chat. That's what we usually do. And if if it gets to be really bad, um, or if they keep on like spamming the chat and stuff with uh, bad bad things, just um, remove them. Usually, that's that's what we usually do. 32-23 right now. Celtics got stripped. Tatum made both of the free throws in the line. Deflected, intercepted inside the key here by Tatum with a steal. Up ahead, Holiday. Holiday lost it. Got stolen right back by Hayward for OKC. Feels so weird seeing Gordon Hayward in an RNG uniform. Chet Holmgren able to score downhill to the rim as he makes the layup. Celtics by seven here. Got to get this clock started once again. There we go. 10.30 left to go. My uh, tortoise doing pretty well right now. Missed shot inside by Horford. Back it goes to the Thunder. Top of the key, Holmgren. Holmgren drives, spin move, kick out to the wing. Touch pass out to the left corner with a three by OKC. They bricked it. Off the back room, it's no good. And it goes back to Boston here. Holiday dribble drive attack with a left hand. He scores up and off the backboard. Good turbo mood right there. Changing tempos by Drew. Edith, welcome in. Thanks for stopping by. Ten minutes left to go before halftime. Celtics controlling this game up by nine. Holmgren at the top of the key. Towards his right. Hands it off. And here's a drive by OKC. Blocked out of bounds by Porzingis. Aaron Wiggins try to drive right there at Porzingis. And got swatted out of bounds. Blue, welcome back in. Hope so, man. Really hope so that the Celtics can take it this year. Good start for Boston right now. We're going to head to a timeout. As the Thunder will burn their second charge timeout of the first half right now. 34-25 with under 10 minutes left to play before half. And Porzing is just so special. Changes everything. Massive start for him today. I really like the sense of urgency that Boston's come out offensively in this game because the last game they didn't seem like they were taking it um, as seriously as the other games compared to before. They just came out jacking a bunch of threes against uh, the Hornets on Monday. And tonight they're playing together as a unit, really attacking and going downhill in this Thunder defense tonight. 
the shooting numbers kind of don't say say the message though Boston's only shooting 45% for the floor but their defense has been incredibly impressive Porzingis just had that last block the Thunder started off the game 6 for 10 in their first 10 shot attempts on the from the floor and uh, ever since they're only 3 for 16 ever since right now so they're playing some uh, incredible defense here Ooh, good crazy in the stream. Welcome in. Do I believe in mermaids? Good question. Yeah, why not? I'll I'll go for that right there. So yeah. They're probably out there somewhere. There's there's just so much to this world that like I bet there's stuff that a lot of people never even discovered out there too I remember when um when I went up for a college tour in Maine around 10 years ago it was near Bangor they had a had a museum and uh there was a bunch of like artifacts about Bigfoot in the museum that I went to so that was quite interesting Yeah, I remember reading about the Loch Ness Monster back in school. Some uh, quite interesting stuff that, uh, that happens in life. Yeah, it's, uh, it's downpouring rain here, but stay safe if you're out on the roads, especially like north of Boston. New, New Hampshire is supposed to get like 12 to 18 inches some places. Um... One of the guys that I work with, he's got a a place up in Berlin, New Hampshire, that's like towards the Canadian border, and they're supposed to be getting like a ton of snow. Because he was telling me he's going up to uh, that place to see the solar eclipse on Monday. There's he's supposed to be attending like an eat out party with like a bunch of other people at some like tavern in north conway for like the solar eclipse viewing party right before and sunday the day before there's like a lot of like stuff out there especially um like north country like upper new hampshire vermont maine that they're doing like a bunch of stuff for like gatherings for the solar eclipse like this weekend into monday here we go back to action quarter three wide open horford no good put back slam with a two and then flushed by the big fella Poor Zing is able to tear down a roof shack as he comes up with the offensive board and throws it down with authority. Thunder with a possession. Poor Zing is already up with 10 so far in this game with point score making two threes. Home grand inside floats up a off time shot. No good. Poor Zing was able to alter that as well. Celtics with numbers three on two. Holiday bounce pass ahead. Pritchard couldn't finish with a layup looking for the foul. Couldn't get one here as the Thunder come up with a rebound. Driving baseline, pro hop inside, Holmgren over Porzingis, Porzingis able to play tough defense right there, forces the Chet Holmgren miss. It goes right back to Boston, Boston up by 11, approaching 8.5 minutes left to go before halftime, Holiday slows down the tempo here at the top, bounce pass goes to Porzingis, he's got 10, looking for 12, and he's got it. Open up the bank right there at the low left block, floats it up, hits the spot, good for two. 38-25 Boston, 5 for 6 from the floor, 12.6 rebounds by KP, jumper, step back, no good. Off the back row, Wiggins, putbacks there though for 2 by Kaysen Wallace. Yeah, I'll text, uh, I'll text that back to you there, Jason. Thanks so much, man. Lob down low. Holiday off the Porzingis, missed at the rim, able to get it out. Kick out to the corner, Pritchard with the open 3 delivers. 41 to 27 Boston and Oklahoma City. They've already taken two timeouts this half and they will burn a third right now for the Thunder as we will go on another timeout. OKC already up to three timeouts burned in this half. 41 27 Boston. Porzingis literally changing everything out there. Like, just too good. Altering shots left and right. Chet Holmgren had an off-balanced 
shot inside the key that he released it well, well um, away from what, what he usually releases. He was already going down, and Porzingis messed him up that he had to get it over Porzingis somehow. And it's crazy, like 7-3 Porzingis altering missed shots by 7-1 Chet Holmgren out there. And just, uh, just Porzingis just bullying Everybody right now, 12 points, 7 rebounds, 1 block by Porzingis, 5 for 7 shooting, 12 points in 11 minutes. And just incredible start for him so far. Hey, what's good? Good crazy in the stream. Welcome in. Jimmy, welcome back to the channel here. Glad to have you back in, man. So, um, if you want to get my thoughts about this one, Jimmy, I would tell you I, I like the Celtics tonight in this game by the 12.5 points. This is their first game in a while that they've been home. They're also 32-3 and three at home. And the Thunder without Shea Gilgis Alexander today. And the Celtics, like, they, they look locked in and focused because they want that to wrap up the number one seed at tonight. And it looks like that right now. So... I, I think they're going to do it. They're going to win by more than 12.5 for my prediction. If I make a prediction here. Yeah, they they, they know how, how much it means to rest their starters for like two weeks before the start of the playoffs. So right now we're on April 3rd. They also get the whole week off for the playing week. So that's that's big time right there. And then... The playoffs will start. First game will either be Saturday, April 20th, or Sunday, April 20th for the playoffs. So we're like 17 days away from the playoffs. So like two and a half weeks. So if they win this one, they get basically two weeks of rest. Fourteen point lead right now for Boston. Yep, I uh, I knew it. Yeah, I got um, I got your comments from one of the college streams because it came in um, after I finished the stream. I already wrapped up and then I went to see my comments in the video. I saw those were in the comments, but uh, no problem. I. I think it was the one you asked about Purdue. I I would have take I I said in the pregame I would have taken Purdue too, and that's what happens. I like I like UConn on Saturday, and I like Purdue on Saturday. What a story with NC State's DJ Burns, but no 11 seed has ever made it to the national championship. I think it's happened like six times approximately, and every single time in the Final Four with an 11 seed, it's always, always come up short right there. That would be something if that does happen, but I would expect Purdue because there's been a lot of like follow discrepancy stuff recently, and it's very, very difficult to match up against Zach Eady. Whereas, like, Duke's defense got shredded one-on-one -on -one against DJ Burns. I I think you, you got a week to uh, watch film about that matchup for Purdue. You better be bringing doubles at DJ Burns and forcing other guys to score. That's what's going to have to happen. Celtics able to score the layup. 43-29 now. Thunder had the top. Case and Wallace lost control of the basketball, though. Celtics have a top of the key. Pritchard. Gets the ball received from White. Back out to the top here to White. Up fake towards his left hand off. Porzingis. He has 12 looking for more. Rises for the jumper. 15 footer off the rim. No good. Rebound secured by Giddy. Thunder have it up the floor. Wallace working on the White. Hand off to Holmgren. Holmgren inside a key. Skip pass. Right corner. Case and Wallace with a three came off the rim. Short tipped up to Brown who collects the defensive rebound. Pritchard. Outside finds White. White, Pritchard, Brown, Porzingis, and Hauser. That's the five of the court. Carly. The lob goes to Porzingis. Porzingis turnaround shot in the key. Able to knock it down for two. Over one defender to put the Celtics up by 16. Thunder shooting just one for 13 from the perimeter tonight. They're 39% this season from the outside. Holmgren, left baseline dribble. Brings along a double team. His pass got deflected. Goes back to check though. 
Moves it across the floor to Isaiah Joe. Joe, a five in the shot clock. Step back three in the air. Sticks it right over. Sam Hauser, you see, connects on a triple by Joe. Jeffrey, welcome in. Thanks for stopping by, man. Under six minutes left to go before halftime. Another fast-paced game so far tonight. Brown off the Pritchard. No look pass right corner. Open three. Hauser off the mark. No good. A rebound secured by the Thunder here with Kenrich Williams. Case and Wallace going to slow down tempo on top. It goes to Giddy. Giddy dribble drive right to the cup and Giddy. Oh, he scores the layup. That's a tough layup right there with a finger roll right over Porzingis somehow, some way for the bucket. An 11-point game. White, bounce pass over to Brown. Brown at the left corner. Brown brings along a double team, gets it away. White, touch pass, Porzingis. Everybody getting a touch this time. Oh, what a move off the spin move downhill to the rim. Slipping right past Kenrich Williams to the cup. It is a made layup with a right hand by Payne and Pritchard. That was nasty. What a drive right there. Just so speedy for Pritchard. Holmgren down low. Holmgren blocked by Porzingis. Huge rejection right there as Holmgren tried to power his way inside. Pritchard circles around. Up fake underneath. Kick out quarter. Hauser moves it on top. Brown dribbles up off the spin move. Sneaks his way inside. Swings it off to the wing. Open three. Porzingis. Bing, bang. He delivers. Oh, what ball moving right there for the Celtics. Everybody getting a touch that possession. Christos Porzingis. Porzingis looking like he's on turbo mode in this game. Just creator game mode right now. What he's doing out there. Video game type stuff by KP. Spin move and the floater is good. Up and in by Giddy for two. 50 to 36. 11 points by Giddy. Porzingis leads the way. He's got 17 right now. Brown crossover. Got Kicked out of bounds off the foot of Kenrich Williams. This is going to stay Celtics ball. Huge block by Porzingis on the offensive side. And then this incredible drive. Jalen Brown, Eurostep, flung it behind his back. Eyes behind his back of his head off to Porzingis. Who took the open three. Hands up in the air after he dropped down the three. These guys are loving it right now. Porzingis will head on the bench. 17 points. 7 for 10 from the floor. 3 for 3 from 3. 3 blocks for KP. Brown. Turn around. Got it to go. Good for 2 for Jalen Brown. 16 point lead once again for Boston. The defense has been magnificent tonight. Holding OKC to 36% shooting. Oklahoma City started off the game shooting 6 for 10. That's now their 15th made bucket of the game. That is Jay Will, Jalen Williams, number six, who just scored off the mid-range shots. Yeah, I heard about that. So uh, best of luck to Devin Carter in the NBA. And um, looking like he could uh, potentially be drafted in the lottery for him. Looking like the teens that he's going to be drafted for his draft number. Hashtag the lottery now for Devin Carter. Brown got denied first time. Brown got it right back and he scored up and good. It is good for two underneath the hoop by Jalen Brown. 54-38, final three minutes left to go before halftime. Out to the right corner, baseline dribble here by OKC. Nice move to the cup, soaring up back door. It's a made layup by Isaiah Joe. 14-point game. Top of the key, Brown. Brown towards his left, takes the three. Off the back room, no good. Offensive rebound for a moment, he try to get but nobody was out there on the perimeter is the thunder gonna take it a distance with a left hand isaiah joe scores for two and joe mozzola will burn a timeout that should have been an offensive rebound right there al horford tipped it out to the perimeter but the celtics with the guys in the outside were running away from the basketball instead of coming up to play the ball off the tip tap out from the to the perimeter so We'll take the timeout right here. 2.35 left to go. 12-point lead for Boston. And Porzing is just monstrous so far in his first half. Yeah, I really thought he was going to return right there. Hashtag the return. And uh, today he declared for the NBA draft. We'll sign an agent there for uh, Devin Carter. But, man, just uh, 
Wishing him the best of luck. Absolute warrior throughout his PC career. Yeah, the NIL is just changing the entire scope of college basketball. Like, all, all these transfers. The crazy thing about it is, is we see Tatum's beard on the screen right now. Crazy thing about the college basketball transfers is that a lot of these guys are transferring to teams in conference. It's like some of these players are transferring over to, to like rivals of the team that they used to play before. 12 point lead as Al Horford goes right to the cup. Wow, big Al getting in on the action right now as he was able to score for a quick two. Off the inbound, eight points now by Horford tonight. Passing off to a cutter back door. Getty couldn't keep it alive as he had to move it out to the right corner. Getty off, it's a rebound off the miss by Dorton. In and out of the hands of Brown out of bounds. And this will stay the Thunder basketball. 2.07 left to go before half. Just a force defensively for the Celtics tonight. OKC was shooting 6 for 10 on their first 10 shot attempts on the floor. Ever since they're shooting 11 for 35 for Oklahoma City. Pass down low and rejected out of bounds by Horford. Lou Dort tried to up fake Horford there and Horford blocked him underneath the OKC rim. Now we'll head to another timeout. As uh, we are down to 205 left to go. Celtics are going to challenge this. That's what they're going to do on the floor. They, they thought it was off a of Dort last. So Boston is challenging the call right now. Horford blocked it. And referees are taking a look at this call. So we're going to head to a brief timeout once again. If you're new in the stream, make sure to smash the thumbs up, hit the like, hit the subscribe, ring the notification bell as well if you'd like to be notified here for future live streams. Yeah, I think Joe Mazzulla's got a case right there. Al Horford looked like he got all ball, and then it went back on the shooting hands of OKC. And then OKC lost it out of bounds with Lou Dort there, so that looked clean. By Al Horford as he got all ball. Wasn't called a tie up on the floor. And then the ball went back. Off the fingertips of Lou Dort last. That's what. That's what. It, it looked like in the last replay there. Hey what's good SB in the stream. Welcome in. Yup good challenge there by Joe Mazzulla. As the Celtics will get the basketball back. So that was a successful challenge. The call has been overturned. And that's now the 6th block of the game by Boston. Celtics with a possession. Two minutes left to go before halftime. Tatum's back on the floor. Tatum, White, Horford, Brown, and Holiday. The five of the floor. Cartley for the Celtics. Tatum at the top. Dribbles up. Drives inside the paint with a left hand. Up and then off the backboard. It's good for two by Jason Tatum. Right to the rim with a head full of steam that time for JT. Tatum makes his way up to 11 right now in the first half. Porzingis, the top score with 17. Top of the key here for OKC. Off to the elbow, Jay Will receives it now at the right elbow for the Thunder. Floats the pass outside to Giddy. Giddy dribbles up to the right elbow. Pass off the roll down. Jalen Williams from behind gets fouled by Brown. And Jay Will, number six, will shoot two at the free throw line. Uh, manager to Buffalo Bison. Um, I do not. So, yeah, I do not know. Uh, who that is right there. Yeah, Bronny's entering the transfer portal. He posted himself in a couple of uniforms yesterday. Uh, the one with West Virginia kind of looks odd for him, in my opinion. He posted that, and then Duke. I don't know about Duke either. I honestly think it's going to be Ohio State. Ohio State's looking to build up something special right now. I, I, I think it looks like Ohio State and... Would not be shocked if Le LeBron goes back to Cleveland. Minute 15 left to go. Free throws are good at the line by Jay Will, number 6 for OKC. Tatum has it here at the edge of the midcourt logo. Brings along a double team. Moves it off to White outside. Holiday sidestep to his left with a 3. Bricked off the back heel. Rebound secured by Giddy. Final minute left to go before halftime. Giddy passes off to the cutting. Dort Dort gets fouled by White. And Dort will shoot 2 at the line. 
Randy, welcome back in. Thanks for stopping in, man. Yeah, so that's true, uh, Vegas. So I saw that yesterday on Twitter, Twitter that Bronny's entering the transfer portal. Uh, it's so many, so many players. Oh, you know what the big news is today is that Eric Musselman, the head coach of Arkansas, he he's a he's a primary candidate for the USC head coaching job. So Andy Enfield left USC a couple of days and. Uh, got hired for SMU for the new head coaching job and Eric Musselman possibly could be the new head coach at USC. He's like one of the top head coaches there. Just like that that's shocking. Honestly, really really shocking. I know USC is going to be racking up um racking up the cash coming playing in the Big 10 in the future. Quarter 3 is good by Holiday. 61 to 46 now the free throws are good before that by Dort two for 15 from three seven made threes for the Celtics at seven for 20 but the Thunder just two for 15 they've shot the ball around 39 percent this season from the perimeter another blocking fall picked up on the floor that will be charged to Derek White as he denied but wasn't clean with Jay Will number six Jalen Williams Two shots here by Williams at the free throw line. First one's good. J Dub number eight not playing tonight. Same as Shea Gillis Alexander, the top scorer, one of the top scores in the league this season. Porzing is gonna check out of the game. He gets replaced by Horford, who comes back in. Yeah, I remember that the uh, 80s. I I was watching like um. Back when I was in high school, we watched one of the documentaries of SMU's football team like back in the 80s. 25 seconds left. It's actually Porzingis who checked in for Horford. So Porzingis is out on the floor right now. White sends it off to Tatum, top of the key. Six in the shot clock. 13 on the game clock. Tatum, a step back, three in the air over Holmgren. Off the front room, no good. A rebound secure for the Thunder. Outlet pass here to Holmgren. Got it stripped out of bounds. What a hustle play right there by Jalen Brown. As the clock stops with three and a half seconds. This will be a Thunder inbound coming up, but Jalen getting back in the fast break, stripped Holmgren as Holmgren was going up for a layup. Got all ball, stripped him out of bounds. Thunder will have to set it up. 3.5 seconds left to go before halftime here as OKC will look to get the inbound underneath their hoop. Down by 14. Looking to get this inbound here for the Thunder. And he moved it out to the wing and... Oh, it's a turnover! Bad pass by the Thunder sailed out of bounds in the Celtics. Incredible defense. No time going off the clock right there. And Boston with 3.2 seconds left to go. We'll get this inbounds. Just shy in the midcourt logo. That's how far it went out of bounds. It went out of bounds around the OKC's wing of the perimeter. So it will be the far side of the floor. Just shy in midcourt where the Celtics will get this inbounds. I don't know how you failed to inbound the basketball. Just nobody even touched it. It just went out of bounds. No time went off the clock. Joe, welcome in. Congrats to Indiana State. Indiana State and Satan Hall in the NIT Championship. Inbound. Brown crosses midcourt. Brown takes the three. Off the front room. No good. On the 38-footer, we close out going to halftime. 61-47. At the half for the Celtics, dominating the first half, looking for the number one overall seed in the NBA playoffs for home court advantage in all of the playoffs for 2024. What a start for the Celtics. If you're new in the stream, make sure to smash the thumbs up, hit the like, hit the subscribe, ring the notification bell as well if you guys would like to be notified for future live streams. And um, if you're in the path of the storm tonight, make sure to stay safe out there. And uh, hopefully you don't need to go out and go any place tonight. Stay safe, stay, stay indoors if you're up in like Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Maine, Vermont. It's supposed to be getting windier. Throughout the course of the night. Poor Zingas. 
What a game to begin. 17 by Porzingis. 9 rebounds, 3 assists, 1 steal, 3 blocks for KP. Just a menace out there defensively for Porzingis. Altering everything. Just changing everything on the floor. Tatum's got 11. Brown's got 8. Back in the lineup. 8 points by Al Horford. Just a total team. Total team advantage here for the Celtics. Everybody getting around and doing well. Uh, 3 by Hauser off the bench. 7 by Pritchard off the bench. Pritchard has 4 assists as well. And then 7 points by Holiday tonight. Um, I graduated high school back in 2014. Hey, what's good? Bradley, welcome back in, man. Great start for Boston here. Josh Giddy leads the way with 13. Thunder came into this game without Shea Gildas Alexander and uh, J Dub Jalen Williams, number eight for tonight. Hey, what's good, Michael? Welcome in. Yeah, Celtics, uh, 24 minutes away from capturing home court if they can close it out tonight. Giving the home crowd, the fans, something that's a treat. These fans certainly deserve it based on the season for the Celtics. 32 and three in their home floor, looking to go 33 and three and win number 60. Blazers lead the Hornets 67-66. that a typo here? No, it's not. Wow, that's a low-scoring game. 67-66 um, with five seconds left to go in the third right now. That is not a typo between the Blazers and the Hornets. That's a low-scoring game between those two with five seconds left to go in the third. Lakers lead the Wizards 85-73. Just about four minutes left to play in the third. Hawks up at the half over the Pistons, 59-50. to Pacers lead by just one right now against the Nets, 62-61. They were up by 15 at one point in that game. That game's at half currently. Bucks leading the Grizzlies, 36-30. T-Wolves up over the Raptors, 28-21. And the Pelicans lead the Magic, 31-29. Hey, what's good? Derby, welcome to the stream once again. Um, so Steve Clifford, it was announced today, the head coach of the Hornets, Steve Clifford's, Clifford's going to step down at the end of the season. So it looks like that he's going to move into a front office role with Charlotte, but he's going to step down at the end of the season. Yeah, that it should be a really good NIT championship. Indiana State and Satan Hall. And both of those teams should have made it into the brackets. Hopefully this gives the selection committee like a lesson for next year to actually start watching as many games as possible from all the conferences. Yeah, the the Pacers were up by like fifteen at one point. Now it's only a one point game and a half. kind of sad for the Nets. They got, like, no future or anything. Um, I was watching somebody else's video. He was talking about it on uh, one of his last videos during my lunch break a few days ago, and the Nets had the option to trade for Jalen Green for Houston, for Brooklyn, and uh, they, they refused to trade. So, uh, J Houston was looking at the trade deadline to see if they can ship uh, Jalen Green someplace. They offered Brooklyn Jalen Green for a couple other players that would come out of Brooklyn. And Brooklyn said no to that. And uh, it's going to be one of the worst decisions ever because Jalen Green for the last month, he's just been just incredible. What he's been doing lately. I think he's like putting in like around an average of 29 points per game in the last like month 
or so for him. Yeah, I saw that today. That's some big news. Terrence Edwards Jr., so um, the Sun Belt Player of the Year for James Madison committed. That's a that's a big pickup right there. So pickup number one in the transfer portal. Absolute grand slam by Pat Kelsey. And you guys got some uh some real momentum now this off season for Louisville. Like like putting able to put your your team now into like the conference conversation and into the mix with like a player like that. If they can land some more of those players, definitely in the mix. Uh, because now they're in the mix to be like one of those spoiler teams in the ACC that's going to be on the upswing, but they keep on doing that. I mean, NCAA tournament coming very soon for the cards once again. Yeah, big, uh, big NIT championship. They should put it where, like, a lot more action goes on, like, like Madison Square Garden. Oh, I got something else. A, a ton of stuff happened today. I think I heard it from like John Fanta. He tr he tweeted it this afternoon. This is. Let's see if I can can get this up. It's supposed to compete with the NIT for next year. So this is starting next year. Um, it's a new postseason for college basketball. So it's supposed to be Big Ten, Big Twelve, and Big East. Let's see if I can get this. This this is all new. Like a couple hours ago, it, it was released. Okay. So uh, John Fanta out of Fox Sports, he tweeted out today. This was as of like 3.20 p.m. This was announced this afternoon. So this is coming next year for college basketball. Um, coming to Fox and Fox Sports 1 in spring of 2025. It's going to be called the College Basketball Crown. And it's a 16-team tournament in Las Vegas featuring schools from the Big Ten, Big 12, and Big East. And it will be held at T-Mobile Arena in Vegas from March 31st to April 6th. So how we have the NCAA tournament and then there's the NIT. The teams from like major conferences, Big Ten, Big East, Big 12, that don't make the NCAA tournaments, they basically formed their own NIT with a three-conference postseason tournament. And it's going to have games broadcast on Fox and Fox Sports 1, it'll be held from March 31st to April 6th of next year, starting next year. So there's extra, like, college basketball games that uh, will be competing from the three conferences for uh, major conferences with a big, Big 10, Big East, Big 12. That's going to be interesting. Also, the Big 10 next year is going to have, like, Oh man, so so many teams out of the Big Ten. Like this whole conference realignment thing is going to be crazy. Yeah, Big Ten is going to have 18 teams next year. So yeah, that's going to be quite interesting next season. So it starts next season. There will be games on Fox and Fox Sports 1. I, I don't know how it's going to like compete with NCAA Target. I'd imagine they'd have it on like off nights. And also, there will be the NIT.
Yeah, they're supposed to be getting USC and UCLA. Oregon and Washington. Yeah, so it's 14 plus 4, so it's 18 total now. Oregon, Washington, USC, UCLA. Yeah, this was the last year for the Pac-12. I guess they had like a TV deal that was coming due too. Oh, wow. Yeah, that would be massive there if he's able to get Vladislav Golden from FAU. Yeah, ACC. I think they're supposed to be getting Stanford and Cal. So they're going to get more teams too, which they already had 15. Washington State and Oregon State is supposed to be going to the Mountain West. Yeah, ACC has already announced their conference matchups for the next couple seasons. SMU. SMU is going to the ACC too. Next year. SMU, Stanford. SMU, Stanford, and Cal. It's just crazy keeping track of like all the conference realignment stuff. It's going to be insane when like Stanford and Cal is playing games over at Duke, UNC, Wake Forest, NC State. Boston College, I mean, good luck to uh, Stanford and Cal right there, taking plane rides all the way across the country all throughout the course of the year. Yikes. The typical away schedule next year for Stanford, besides their game that's at Cal. They're at SMU, Clemson, Wake Forest, Duke, Virginia, Virginia Tech, Louisville, and Notre Dame. Like best of luck to that if you're Stanford. That's oh man. That's difficult. Like SMU isn't even close to anybody. They're out in Texas and they're playing road games at Pitt, Cal, Stanford, Florida State, Georgia Tech, NC State, Wake Forest, Duke, Syracuse. So this whole conference realignment thing is, it's quite crazy. Like, it may, like for football, you can see why, because it's all about, like, the money nowadays and NIL and racking up money. For football, yeah, it matters for football because you got one week before your next football game. For basketball, things get a little bit more difficult because they're playing two or three games a week, but still manageable but uh, if you're one of those non-revenue sports forget about it like if it if it's ba like college baseball college softball volleyball like what in the world are we doing about these conference realignments like forget about it all in general swimming lacrosse like all of the other sports As especially like base baseball and softball are the two like concerning ones for like teams from like California flying out to like North Carolina because you're playing like five baseball games within a week span for a lot for a lot of teams and you're gonna have to really really key into the to the travel stuff because you've got games postponements and stuff like that 
for, for baseball and softball. You better get ready to keep on adjusting the travel schedules for those who work in the athletics administration departments doing um, the travel coordinations and the, and the budgets and stuff. It's, it's going to be a crazy, crazy season. That's for sure. Because um, I've been helping out in uh, sports information in one of the departments. It's for a Division three writing up articles, helping out the sports information director. And all the games are usually played local, like the teams out of Massachusetts. So they're playing Mass, Connecticut, Rhode Island, New Hampshire, Vermont. They'll go to spring break in, in Florida for a week in March. They'll play other teams all around the cro across the U.S. But it's like everybody in the conference is winning a two-and-a-half-hour travel time or less. It's all bus rides. But for like D1 – like non-revenue sports like baseball, softball, where you're not really bringing in much money for, uh, good luck to that because you got postponements all over the place in these games. If you're like Cal or Stanford and you're playing games at Duke for college baseball, what happens if it just just rains for like three, four straight days in North Carolina? Good luck trying to make that up right there. Crazy. Porzingis is at the free to line as we're starting off the third quarter of action. First one's good. Hey, what's good? Uh, Jared in the stream, welcome in. Second free throw is good. Porzingis already up to 19. He's the top scorer so far today. Thunder with a possession. Casey Wallace lobs up over the top. Holmgren snatches it. Covered by Porzingis, though. Holmgren backs his way underneath. Works his way over Porzingis and throws it. Off the turnaround. Dunk there with a right hand for two. They had scored previous to that, too. Celtics just turned it over up the floor. Right to left here for the Thunder. 12-point game. Casey Wallace at the right wing. Sends it off to Getty. Getty dribbles up. Drives downhill to the cup. A wide open. Scores the right-hand layup. A little bit of miscommunication right there for the Celtics. Defense just led to the clear pathway and layup score by Getty. Under 11 minutes left to go here in the third. Celtics with a possession. White on the floor. Porzingis, Tatum, Brown, and Holiday. White dribbles, drives, floats up the runner, and gets fouled. And he'll shoot two at the free throw line. Yeah, I'll take a look at that scoring line for you there. Yep, so uh, if the Celtics win this one, they get home court advantage. Number one overall seed in the entire NBA. Um, Indiana State's coming into Thursday night's game tomorrow for the NIT championship as a two-and-a-half point favorite on the line tomorrow night. So Indiana State, two-and-a-half point favorite against Seton Hall tomorrow. It's it's in Indianapolis, so Hinkle Fieldhouse, the home of the Butler Bulldogs, they're hosting the NIT championship. They hosted the semis. Both free throws are good by Boston. Follow away shot. Tough one. No good. Bricked off the back rim. Missed by Chet Holmgren. Top of the key here with Brown. Brown lost the handle. Turns it over. Wallace came up with a steal. Raphael, welcome in. Thanks for joining them, man. Giddy. Drives downhill to the rim over Porzingis. Porzingis is able to alter it. Gets called in the blocking foul though. So this will be two shots coming up with a free to line by Josh Giddy as the shot clock will stop just above 10 minutes. Two free throws by Giddy. First one is good. Yeah, Chet 7-1. Porzing is 7-3. Both of the free throws good by Giddy. 10-point game. OKC right now is hanging in. They've scored 11 points off Celtics turnover. Celtics just 3 points off OKC turnovers in this game. Top of the key. Porzing is hand off to Tatum. Tatum. Towards his left around the perimeter. Fires it across the floor. Right corner. Brown. Right baseline dribble. He attacks. Got blocked by Wallace. Casey Wallace has a motor out there. He dribbles up the court. Here's a three transition. Wiggins hits it for OKC. 
It's only a seven-point game right now. Aaron Wiggins from the Maryland Terrapins able to bury a transition triple. And Joe Muzillo will burn a timeout now. Do you know how critical this game is for Boston? You win this game, you wrap up the number one overall seed in the NBA. you got to win this game if you're the Celtics without SGA playing tonight, without J-Dub. J Hang it in for Oklahoma City. Seven-point game. See, one thing about today is that the Celtics have not looked good from three-point range. They're only seven for 22 from the perimeter right now. <laughs> wow, Zach Eady didn't even need to use the ladder to cut down the nets. Wow. Yeah, Wemby. Wow, so you got a PSA 10 rookie card of Wemby. Yeah, make sure to keep a hold of that for a long time. That could really be worth a fortune. Looking looking back at that like 25, 30 years from now, like if if um if you're around in 2050, oh man, that's that's could be worth a fortune by the time 2050 comes. Yeah, just in incredible for NC State. Wow, 15 of them, man. Yeah, there's all going to be worth the fortune. Yeah, I think that's going to be tough for uh, NC State there. Especially if they get into like early foul trouble trying to guard Edie. Then once you get into foul trouble against Purdue, it gets really difficult to match up against Edie. Lakers only up by three against the Wizards right now. 103 100. The Lakers are number nine in the West in the playing game. You got to win that one if you're LA. Hornets lead the Blazers with under four minutes left to go in a low scoring game tonight. 81 79. Hawks up against the Pistons by 16. 88 72. Pacers are now trailing against the Nets. The Nets were down by 15 plus points. They've come back and now they lead by nine. 75 to 66 with seven minutes left to go in the third. Grizzlies lead the Bucks right now at halftime, 53 to 49. And the T Wolves up against the Raptors at half, 58 42. Magic lead the Pelicans by five. Final minute before halftime, 54 49. Back to action, left to right on the floor is the Celtics here. They have the basketball. White Tatum. Porzingis, Holiday, and Brown. That's the five on the floor. Tatum receives the pass. Double teamed at the left corner. Gives it away to Holiday. Holiday, skip pass. Right corner. Open three. Brown takes it. Off the rim, no good. Offensive rebound. Control by Holiday. Tatum. Top of the key. Guarded one-on-one -on -one by Cason Wallace, the rookie from Kentucky. Tatum. Dribbles up to the mid block, swings it outside. Brown, Brown, three and a shot clock. Brown drives downhill with a left hand. No good. Missed off the rim. Holmgren collects the defensive rebound. What's good, Patrick on the street? Welcome in. Thanks for joining in here from Jamaica. Back on the channel. Chet Holmgren, top of the key here for OKC. Seven point game. They were down by double digits throughout most of it. Here's a three at the right wing. Wallace missed off the mark. No good. Tapped off the glass. And Holiday collects the defensive boards up the floor. Holiday transition three around the rim and outs. Celtics having a tough game from three, just seven for 24 from the perimeter, 29%. Holmgren drives on Porzingis inside the paint. And this is going to be a Celtics foul picked up on the reach in. And we'll stop the clock now. And Peyton Pritchard is going to check on to the floor. Al Horford will take a seat on the bench right now. Yeah, he's having a quiet game tonight for White. He's only attempted two shots. He's missed both of them. He's only got two points tonight. 
So him, Holiday, uh, both of them pretty quiet games. That was halfway down in the three off the inbound. Missed by the Thunder, though. Holiday collects the defensive rebound. Drew at the left wing perimeter. He is working on Casey Wallace 101. Holiday around the Horford screen. Kick out right corner. Pritchard. Dribbles up inside, Pritchard up, fake, shovels out to the left wing. Horford inside the key, backs his way on Holmgren. Took the jumper mid-range, and he drilled it. Al Horford able to get a matchup right there off a turnaround inside the key and got it a drop off the back room. He's got double digits up to 10. Three players double digits for the Celtics. 19 by Porzingis, 11 by Tatum, 10 by Horford now. And Tatum's going to pick up the foul on the floor. Hey, what's good? Arresty in the stream. Welcome in. Thanks for joining in. Holmgren was going up into a shooting motion, so he's going to shoot two here at the free to line for Chet. First shot out of two. No good. Missed around the rim and out. Second shot by Chet, right down the middle. Hanging in right now for the Thunder, 67-59. They're 14 for 16 on free throw. Celtics perfect, 8 for 8 tonight. Top of the key with Pritchard. Pritchard on the floor with Tatum, Holiday, White, and Horford. Pritchard lobs off the Tatum free throw circle. Tatum drives downhill to the rim, no good. Got a back though off the tip in, good for a two. Up and in, off the glass by Tatum with a tap in. 10-point lead for the Celtics. On their seven and a half left to play in the third here. The lob down low off the roll down with a two-handed flush by Holmgren. Holmgren with a little slip after the end of the play, but he got up. He's okay. Celtics approaching seven minutes left to go. Back and forth, back and forth. Edge of the midcourt logo with Pritchard. Pritchard dribbles towards his right at the right wing. Pritchard lobs it off to Tatum, top of the free throw circle. Tatum guarded one on one. Step back jumper, deep two, swoosh. Right over, Averett Wiggins drills the two by Tatum off the step back. 71-61 Celtics, 15.6 rebounds by Tatum and underneath. That's a strong bucket and an and one by Lou Dort. Eight-point game now. It's going to be Derek White who picks up the shooting foul. Lou Dort will shoot one at the free to line here. And the free throw is good. Hanging in and once again, 71-64. And Celtics should be punting away this team. They're a 12.5 point favorite without SGA and J Dub tonight. Holiday circles his way inside a key, moves it outside. Pritchard touch pass, right wing. Horfer takes the three, rattles it in with a three ball. Good ball movement right there. Celtics go up by ten. Six twenty remaining in the third. Horford's got thirteen. Celtics really needed a big time three. They got one just eight for twenty five from the perimeter. Blocked out of bounds from behind. That's Horford. Couple big plays here. Clutch lately. Horford with a corner three and then the denial. Kaysen Wallace turns the corner. Him and the Holiday both together there. Denying Kaysen Wallace. Wow, stay cool out there for uh, Rusty over in the Philippines. Inside down low is Oklahoma City. Going to head to the free throw line. Shoot two here off the inbound. Wallace got fouled from behind by Hauser. So two shots here at the line. And also there in the bonus as well now. First one's good. The Celtics win this one tonight. Then they get the number one overall seed 
in the entire NBA. So that's what that what's at stake tonight for the Celtics and this Thunder team very very tough. They keep on creeping back in right now. 74-66. 17 for 19 on free throws for OKC. Holiday at the right wing. Sends it outside to Tatum. Tatum, top of the key. Tatum dribbles up. Takes the jumper. Top of the free throw circle. No good. Bricked off the back rim. Holmgren collects the defensive rebounds. Yeah, I saw that. Like 12 to 18 inches up in like New Hampshire and Maine. It's crazy. Because um, one, one of the people that I work with... Um, he has like a summer place up in Berlin in New Hampshire towards like the Canadian border and um, they're supposed to get like 12 to inch, 18 inches of snow up there. Yeah, I'm over in Southeast Mass, so we're supposed to be getting some big time wins. Horford with an open three splash. He sinks it. 77-68 Boston. Peyton Pritchard keeps on delivering. With an assist tonight. That is now assist number 7 by Pritchard. He's the top playmaker on the floor. Horford's up to 16 right now. The number 2 score behind Porzingis with 19. Tatum's got 15 tonight on the floor. This will be more free throws here at the line. Some contact in the shot. As Lou Dort took the shot. Tatum knocked down Lou Dort. And Tatum picks up his second personal foul tonight. Lou Dort, two free throws. First one's good. Second one's good. 77 to 70. Five minutes left to play in the third here. Pritchard brings up the floor. Pritchard, Horford, Holiday at Tatum Hauser. That's the five of the courts. Pritchard bounce tap pass, leaves it off for Holiday. Holiday laces up a three, top of the key. Missed off the rim, no good though, as the rebound gets controlled by OKC. Thunder with a possession. Josh Giddy receives the handoff. Turns the corner. Drives on the Horford. Giddy dump off underneath. And Hauser commits the reach and foul. So he bumps into. A driver here for the Thunder. Down low. Giddy, the one who passed it off to Isaiah Joe. Number 11. He was the one who went down. So Joe is going to shoot free throws. Two shots here at the line for Isaiah Joe. Seven points today, make it eight. So he hits the first free throw. Kind of too close for comfort right now in this game. The Celtics led by double digits in the first half. As many by 16, twice. Cuts it down to five as both of the free throws are good. Yeah, solar eclipse on Monday. Horford moves it off to Tatum at the free throw circle. Tatum's just got 15. Tatum goes up. He gets fouled. And two shots coming up by Tatum at the free throw line. So Tatum gets clipped right there for the side by Casey Wallace. Two shots by Tatum. First one's good. Second one's good. Uh, Celtics play the Kings coming up on Friday. That's their next game. If Boston wins this one, they uh, they get the number one overall seed in the entire NBA. Pritchard comes up with the steals. Here they go up the floor off the Tatum kickout quarter. Hauser with a three catch and fire. Oh, he hits it. Bang, bang by Sam Hauser. Transition three. Celtics go up by 10. And a timeout taken on the floor by the Thunder. 4.08 left to play. In the third quarter of action. The steal by Pritchard. 
leads the open three in transition. Tatum with assist. Hauser with a corner triple. Big time points right there. The Celtics get three off the turnover. Their defense makes you pay. Celtics now with six points scored off of Thunder turnovers. Thunder with 11 tonight. Celtics led its main by 16, but that's a huge point swing in the game. They were just up by only five. They led as many by 16, and now they look to shut the door once again. Huge, huge steal. Peyton Pritchard's been great tonight. Pritchard really hustling there on the floor. Coming off the bench, seven points. Seven assists in 18 minutes. He is a plus 16. That's the top, pl top plus minus right now. Yeah, Bucks right now are down at the half. 53-49 uh, start to the third quarter. Grizzlies lead against Milwaukee. The Pacers are trailing by one against the Nets, 86-85. Hey, there we go. I got a couple of your messages there, Jason. C.J. Stroud is going to have a great season. They just got Stephon Diggs today for uh, Houston. So Diggs got traded from Buffalo to Houston. So we got Wemby. That's a, that's a mint one, a gem. Wow. C.J. Stroud, 2023 Prism. Wow, he's going to have an awesome year. What a difference for Houston, um, for the Texans for this upcoming season. Like they're gonna put themselves into like legitimate contenders after having some rough records the past couple of years before last year for them. And it's it's, it's crazy. Like bu Buffalo's been so so close, just cannot get past Kansas City. Like, it's, it's going to get to the point where Josh Allen's probably going to want to get out of there. Like, so right now we're in a timeout. If you guys are doing the stream, smash the thumbs up, hit the like, hit the subscribe, ring the notification bell as well. If you guys would like to be notified for future live streams here on the channel, I cover basketball action, play by play. NBA college hoops. Uh, yes, so Heat versus Celtics. That that can happen in the playoffs. That might be the first round playoff series, actually. Um, the Heat right now are the number seven place team in the plan. The Celtics have already secured a number one seed in the East. So the Celtics could face the Heat if it's round one, number one versus eight. I'll see. I mean, me myself being a Celtics fan, I would not wish upon that matchup in the first round, but because of all the history right there, that's good on the corner three by Kenrich Williams coming back from the timeout for OKC. But, I mean, the Bucks, they when they won the championship back in 2021, the Bucks swept the Heat in the first round. If, if the Celtics get matched up against Miami in the first round and say if they sweep them, I think they're sending... A message to the world right there that uh they're they're legit gonna take the title if they sweep the heat in the first round and based on how far they are they are above everybody else they they should be they should be sleep uh sweeping their first round opponent two shots here at the free throw line by tatum first one is good porzing is going to check back into the game as holmgren comes back as well for OKC and Al Horford will take a seat on the bench. Second shot by Tatum right down the middle. Wow, Sky Clark. Yeah, I haven't heard uh, his name in a while right there. Giddy bounce pass back to her cutter and Isaiah Joe got hung up and fouled. That's going to be charged to Hauser. It's on the shooting motion here, and they're already into the bonus. So two more shots coming up here at the line for OKC. So 
Celtics in a little bit of foul trouble right now. Hauser has three fouls. White has three, and Porzingis has three. Two shots to the line. First one's good. For, the, for just the fifth time this season, the Celtics' opponent has made at least 20 free throws. Boston only allows 13.5 free throws per game by opponent. That's the lowest free throw attempts ever in NBA history. Tonight, the Thunder have gone to the free throw line, and they've been able to convert on the majority of their shots right now. 22 for 25 on free throws with the first one going down. Isaiah Joe, second free throw, no good around the room and out. That's only their third miss of the game. It went out of bounds, though, off Tatum. This will stay a Thunderball. Inbound to the wing. Deflected. Intercepted by Pritchard. Here he goes out to the races. Pritchard. One man to beat. Had to go behind his net. Floats out the pass. Right quarter. Hauser with a three. No good. Tip to the quarter. As Porzingis tapped it off to Tatum. Tatum able to save it off the offensive rebound. Tatum. Jab step. Rises for the three. Takes it. Off the bounce. And he got it. Bang, bang. JT. Bounced off the rim. And it's good for the triple. It was contested two in the quarter by Holmgren. What a degree of difficulty on that shot being contested by a 7-footer in the process at the far left corner. Up the floor here, Joe. And that is no good off the mark by Wiggins as he missed it off the glass. Great defense by Porzingis. Pritchard dribbles to the right block. Pritchard looking to get it outside. Pritchard searching for somebody. Swings it off. Porzingis up big. Porzingis to his left. Porzingis backs his way at home. Grid with a left hand. Scores up and off the backboard. It's good for two by Porzingis. The big fella attack down low there inside the paint for KP. Two and a half left to go. Double, double by Porzingis tonight. 21 points, 10 rebounds. Tough shot leading forward, and that's a foul. Jalen Brown picks up the shooting foul. Questioning the call to the officials. And this will be two more free throws coming up for Isaiah Joe for the Thunder. If you're new in the stream, make sure to smash the thumbs up. Hit the like, hit the subscribe Ring the notification bell if you'd like to be notified here for future live streams. And what a game between these two teams right now. Celtics up by 13, looking to control it. Thunder keep on attacking the rim all game long. That's what they're known for, Dr downhill driving type team. Gordon Hayward going to check back onto the floor. Aaron Wiggins for the Thunder takes a seat on the bench. Yeah, looking like we could see that Celtics finals matchup happen. Second free throw is good. 11 point game. Celtics have the possession here. Peyton Pritchard at the top slides it off to Hauser at the left wing. Pritchard moves it off to his right to Porzingis. Porzingis, Hauser, Pritchard, Tatum, and Brown. The five in the floor, the three, no good. Spun around the rim and out. Missed off the mark by Pritchard. Rebound secure by Holmgren. Holmgren attacks inside the paint. Holmgren passes outside off to Joe. Joe with a three. Swoosh. 89-82. Making things interesting here for the Thunder. And Chet Holmgren's not driving inside the paint on Porzingis. Not a lot of people want to drive on Porzingis. He just alters everything out there. That was like Zion Williamson on Saturday just... Couldn't drive inside the paint. That's a mismatch there. Porzingis off the spin move. Buries the two inside the key over Lou Dort. 91-81. 10 point lead here for Boston. Hand off to Hayward. Hayward defended by his former teammate Jason Tatum. Left baseline. Jibble Williams keeps it in the court of play. Tiptoes the baseline. Scores with a backdoor bucket by Kenrich Williams. 91-83. Final minute five left to go in the third quarter. Pritchard off to the left corner into the hands to Brown. Brown's guarded one-on-one -on -one around the perimeter. Brown lost it off the crossover. That's a turnover. And it will go back to OKC with the basketball. Twenty-three by Porzingis alongside ten rebounds. Tatum's right behind with twenty-two. A sixteen by Horford. From, from the bench tonight. Pritchard's been impressive too. Plus 14 on the floor. 7.7 7 assists. 2 steals. Tonight by Pritchard. A floater's no good off the rim short. Celtics with the ball. 40 seconds left to go here to third. Tatum. 
at the TD Garden logo. Left wing Perot with their crossover. Defended by Joe 101. Tatum backs his way. Draws a double team. Floats the pass. Top of the key. No look pass. Right corner. Pritchard to a wide open three. Bricked off the back heel. No good by Hauser on the three ball. Here goes OKC. Dribble drive. Attack downhill. Dump off underneath. Inside the key here. Holmgren moves it out to the top. Wide open three. And we get a shot clock violation there in that possession. Charge to OKC. 18 seconds left to go. Celtics by 8. Thunder hanging in right now. Boston, all they do is they would need to win and they would clinch the number one overall seed in the NBA. Celtics with a shot clock turned off. They get the inbound. Pritchard bounce pass right wing. Porzingis. Porzingis unguarded around the perimeter. Dribbles towards his left. Hand off Tatum. Tatum bumped into and fouled with 6 seconds left to go in the quarter. That bump came from behind. It was picked up by Lou Dort. And that's going to send Tatum to the free to line. That's a bad foul picked up on the floor. Reaching in off the bump from behind. Charged to Lou Dort. This will send Tatum to the free to line. Coming up and will shoot two. But before the Thunder. We'll take a timeout here. 91-83. 8-point lead by the Celtics. The Thunder will actually challenge this foul call on the floor as we will take the timeout with 6.4 seconds. Thunder are challenging the foul call. Porzingis off the dribble handoff to Tatum and Dort tried to get around the Porzingis screen and Dort contacted Tatum from behind. And Dort tried to fight around that screen and then gut Tatum from behind there. Rarest PSA 10 dash 10 2000 Tom Brady rookie in the world Donorous elite status 7 million dollars holy smokes from Lavonia Michigan wow that's crazy that's so colorful to it too it's got all yellow behind wow Tom Brady Rookie card 2000. And that's a rare find right there. Wow. Six point four seconds left to go there. Still talking about this last foul call on the floor. The Thunder challenged the call on the court. See, I don't know how they're going to overturn that there with Porzingis. Did not seem like an illegal screen. That was says he had some space to get around it with Lou Dort. And then he contacted Tatum from behind to try to get around that screen. And yeah, that challenge has failed. So the call will stand. Tatum will shoot two at the free to line in the bonus. 91 to 83. Two free throws coming up here at the line for Tatum. First free throw right down the middle. Celtics looking solid tonight at the free to line. They're perfect. 14 for 14. Just going to make more threes. That's what they've been struggling on tonight. Just 11 for 31 from the perimeter. 35.5%. Second free throw is good. 10-point lead for Boston. Final six seconds left to go in the quarter. They get get it up the floor for OKC. Giddy floats to the runner. Baseline at the buzzer. No good. Bricked off the back rim. And we close out at the end of the third quarter. Boston 93. Oklahoma City 83. Hey, there we go. That is uh, such a rare find with that Tom Brady card there, Jason. Holy smokes. $7 million somebody's selling that for. 
All right, if you guys are new to the stream, make sure to smash the thumbs up, hit the like, hit the subscribe, ring the notification bell as well if you haven't been notified yet for future live streams. Um, yeah, wow, the Pacers are trailing right now against the Nets, 95-92. The Nets started off strong in the third quarter because I saw they were leading by 9 at one point in the third. And if I'm not mistaken, they trailed by 15 at one point in the first quarter, so... Just a crazy comeback that the Nets have had right there. And for the Pacers, that's uh, that's not good right now. They got a rookie for Brooklyn, uh, Noah Clowney. He's got 20.7 rebounds. He used to play for Alabama for Noah Clowney. So he leads the way for Brooklyn right now. The Hawks are le leading the Pistons 104-96. to Bucks now up against the Grizzlies, 69-64. T-Wolves leading the Raptors, 75-71. And Magic up over the Pelicans, 72-66. Two games have gone final tonight. The Blazers, that's a low-scoring game. They beat the Hornets, 89-86 tonight. And then the Lakers able to outlast the Wizards, 125-120 for L.A. Fourth quarter upcoming here. Celtics, if they could close it out, they'll have the number one overall seed throughout the entire NBA playoffs for home courts. Just one win away from home court in the entire playoffs. Um, I'm not sure yet when I'll be back for my next stream. Um, got a lot of question marks throughout the remaining part of this week that I have. I, I have to figure out the schedule based on like other stuff for me. It's been it's been a, a very, very long week for me. I've had long work days. Um, I usually work 8 to 4, but this week I've been working 8 to 6 because I've been training a new on-air show host uh, for the late afternoon show. So I've been staying later, two extra hours every single day, plus... I have, a, I have a game in person that I'm announcing on Friday for college softball. I have a doubleheader at 3 and 5. But I was supposed to cover a college baseball doubleheader at 12 and 3 on Saturday. But they told me earlier today that they might move that up to Friday, which I told them I couldn't do because I already got scheduled in at another school on Friday. Um, so a lot, a lot of like question marks. I have to take it like day by day. So I'm not entirely sure when I will be back for the next one or so. I am hoping to cover the Final Four, but it all all depends, too, because I've been working on the weekends, usually Saturdays in uh, one of the colleges for sports information, helping out writing post-game articles, which usually I find out either Friday night or Saturday morning, the articles that I'm assigned to for that Saturday specifically. So I'm not sure just yet because... If I do end up having the baseball games at 12 and 3, then I'd have to write the articles after the stuff wraps up. Like, that would be consuming my time probably 6 to midnight on Saturday if that happens. But they might reschedule the baseball stuff to uh, to another day, too, since it's supposed to rain on Saturday. So it's a lot. That's uh, a lot going on lately. Almost done training the new show host, though. Probably might need me a couple of days next week. But after next week, my hours should go back to 8 to 4 at the radio station. So that'll be good. Yeah, so uh, that's one of the many things that I have. So, um, so I have to teach them on all the equipment and stuff. So I, I work in radio, I do production, that's my full-time job, is uh, production and radio is OKC, missed the shot, tapped out of bounds though. It's going to be Celtics basketball here, Celtics will hit the inbound underneath with White, White lobs it off to Porzingis, Porzingis underneath brings along a double team and turn around and see Gutter to drop inside the key for two. KP on a bunch of mismatches tonight in this game. 25 and 10 rebounds. The top score on the floor for Porzingis. 10 for 13 shooting. Wallace, top of the key. Drives to the elbow. Took the jumper over a Holiday. Drilled a two. Yeah, Holiday just didn't contest it. Kind of lost. Case and Wallace there off the dribble. 
Drew Holiday's kind of had a silent game tonight, just seven points. He's going to really get back to where he was during during last month because he had been picking it up really a lot last month there. Jalen Brown, turtle around at the baseline, connects in the two. 13 now for JB. Triple digits on the board for the Celtics as they lead by 13. The Celtics pick up the steal. Brown up ahead. Nobody there. Throws it down with authority with a right-handed flush. And the crowd is loving it. 102-87. The Celtics have a 15-point advantage here. Up the floor. Holmgren brings it up. He's defended by White. Holmgren backs his way to the elbow. Moves it outside to Wiggins. Wiggins. Thought about the step back deep too. Gave it up left corner. Case and Wallace. Wallace kept the dribble alive at the left baseline. Wallace. Defended by Brown going up and lost it out of bounds. That's a turnover. Jalen Brown, nice recovery right there defensively for him. He got bit off an up fake by Cason Wallace, but Wallace couldn't beat him past the dribble, so he stayed out in front, and then Wallace went up, lost it out of bounds. Great recovery by Jalen here. Jalen at the top of the key, working on the home grid 101. Jalen's going to slow it down. At the TD Garden logo. Now Jalen will drive inside. Kick out corner. Open three. Holiday right down the middle delivers. Oh, that's a sweet pass right there by JB. 105-87. Timeout taken in the floor by the Thunder. 9-12 left to play in the fourth quarter. That's a big time pass there by Brown. Sets up the corner triple made by Holiday. And Holiday had been silent throughout most of this game, but now works his way up to double figures. Ten points by Holiday. Five Celtics players in double figures. 25-10 and 10 for points and rebounds tonight for Porzingis. He's shooting 10 for 13 from the floor. 24 points by Tatum. 16 by Horford off the bench. 15 by Brown. Brown just recorded his third assist in the night. And then 10 points by Holiday, making his second three. Pritchard leads the team in assists with 7. The Celtics have 25 assists tonight on 39 made field goals. Greg, welcome in. Thanks for joining in. I've got the Celtics right there. Yeah, this is looking like the year for Boston. Just going to keep it up. So right now we're in a timeout. If you guys are new in the stream, smash the thumbs up. Hit the like. Hit the subscribe Ring the notification bell as well if you'd like to be notified here for future live streams. We just went to the timeout. We're down to 9-12 left to go. And a home sweet, sweet home indeed for Boston where they've been 32-3 and this season for the Celtics. Just 9 minutes and 12 seconds away from being the number one overall seed throughout the entire playoffs. Home court advantage throughout. And um, I'll get you guys in the... Five in the court once we come back from the timeout here. Jalen Brown really providing the spark, setting up this fourth quarter. Part of a 12 to 4 run by Boston to begin the fourth quarter. This is the largest lead of the game right now, up by 18. Yeah, um, Vegas was telling me about this earlier on. I see the articles out there now uh, released about the UConn men's basketball team delayed in Connecticut because of um, because of plane issues right now. Flight was scheduled to leave about 6 p.m. from Bradley International Airport near Hartford. Mechanical issue kept the plane they were supposed to use from arriving at Bradley, the school said. 
Well, now there's like a big storm going out, uh, too. Like we we got a big storm up here. I'm I'm from Southeast Mass, so like Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Connecticut. It's it's all rain, but New Hampshire, Maine, and Vermont is supposed to be getting like a foot, a foot and a half of snow in this nor'easter storm. That's a strong bucket inside coming off. The screen there for OKC. Derek White picks up the shooting fall, and this will lead to the and one here at the line for OKC. It's Aaron Wiggins who was able to cash it home off the glass, absorbed the contact by White. Free throw at the line, bounced in. Three point play, complete 15 point lead. Celtics with a possession. Jalen Brown on the floor with Derek White, Kristaps Porzingis, Al Horford, and Drew Holiday. Tatum right now is currently on the bench getting some rest. Outside Horford moves it off to Porzingis, deflected out to the corner to White. Right plays, right time, took the three, and he sunk it down. It's good for the triple by Derek White. Porzingis just tapped it over to White, who is wide open in the corner. Missed a layup off the mark there by Lou by Casey Wallace up the floor here with Brown. Brown at the wing. Elevates for the J. Takes it. And he makes it. Bang, bang. And a three as he sizzles the triple. 111-90. Jalen Brown 10 this quarter. Up to 18 in the game now. Lou Dort. Hand off Giddy around the perimeter to Kenrich Williams. Top of the key. Wiggins. Wiggins. Five in the shot clock. Pass off the roll down. Kenrich Williams blocked from behind. By Porzingis, they cut it back off the steal though by Wallace. Wallace bounce pass Giddy outside Giddy. Once again, Giddy tries a three, no good. Skipped around the rim and out. Porzingis collected the rebound. That is simply not fair. That block by Porzingis looked like he was sure beaten to the rim, and Porzingis somehow just denied his man trying to attack to the hoop. Horford missed a quarter three off the back rim, a rebound secured by OKC. 21 point lead for the Celtics here. Fastball right into the front row of the seats. Got deflected though off the fingertips of Porzingis. Take a look at this replay. Porzingis denies Kenrich Williams. Williams had a step at him, beat into the hole, and looked like a wide open, easy dunk. Porzingis with his wingspan. No, no. Blocks him directly from behind. Inbound for OKC. Top of the key with Jay Will. Dribbles towards his right hand off Giddy. It's Jalen Williams, number six. Josh Giddy, Kenrich Williams. Aaron Wiggins and also Cason Wallace. The five of the floor. White came up with a steal. Up the floor. Lobs it up over the top in transition. Throws it down with a two hand and flush with Porzingis. 113-90. Porzingis doing everything tonight. 27 points, 11 rebounds, four blocks. On alien mode. Simply not fair for the Thunder. Porzingis looking like another human. Living on this planet. Playing ball right now. Take a look at this replay. Too much by Giddy. Try to dribble behind his back inside the three point arc. And then White came up with a steal. Out in transition. A lob over to Porzingis. On a two on one fast break. And he does the rest of it. Thunder with the ball. Wallace crossover drives up to the elbow. Wallace and got knocked down. And that's a shot clock violation there. He went up. He went down. The shot clock expired. Turnover committed by the Thunder. Ah, oh, sorry to hear that, Jason. Yeah, I, I've been on some of those bids before online. And usually people will sneak in like the final bid and like, Final couple seconds before, so touch pass right corner. Horford over to Derek White, right to the shoot, delivers for the triple by White. 116 to 90. Derek White working his way up to eight points tonight. Four out of the five starters have scored. White's the only one who hasn't. Two points shy of double figures tonight. No good. Missed floater inside by OKC. Horford was able to alter it. Brown the crossover the top. Horford's calling for the ball. Brown dumps it off underneath at least to a wide open two. Either way, it is scored by Holiday. 118-90. The timeout taken in the floor with just above six minutes left to go by the Thunder. 6.06 remaining and everything is clicking right now for Boston. Impressive. Timothy, welcome in. Thanks for stopping by, man. 27 points, 11 rebounds by Porzingis, 24 by Tatum, 
18 by Brown. Brown's got 10 out of the 18 this quarter. 16 from the bench by Horford. 12 by Holiday. White's got 8. 7 by Pritchard. 6 by Hauser. Just everybody pulling their weight, chipping in tonight. Excellent. If you're new in the stream, smash the thumbs up, hit the like, hit the subscribe, ring the notification bell if you'd like to be notified here for future live streams in the channel. I cover basketball action, play-by-play, -play, both NBA games and college sheeps here on the streams. Celtics are six minutes and six seconds away from wrapping up the overall number one seed and home court advantage in the entire NBA playoffs. Right now, a quick scoreboard update for other NBA scores. Two games have gone final. The Pacers beat the or uh, the Blazers beat the Hornets 89-86. The Lakers beat the Wizards tonight 125 to 120. And now the Pacers, they're down by two. Against the Nets, 110-108. to Brooklyn's leading against Indiana by two. Hawks are up by eight. Final 13 seconds left. 121-113 against the Pistons. Grizzlies are leading the Bucks right now. 79. They just scored a bucket for Memphis. It's now 81-78 to right now. That would be uh, pretty hilarious if Milwaukee drops back to the three seed. The Pacers are the number six seed, and both of those teams get matched up in the first round. The Pacers, by the way, a 4-1 in the regular season against Milwaukee. T-Wolves lead the Raptors 98-63. Magic up against the Pelicans 84-71. Hey, what's good? Uh, Macro Wavy in the stream. Welcome in. Thanks for joining in. Yeah, Celtics just taking this fourth quarter by storm right now. 25-7, fourth quarter in favor of Boston right now. Jalen Brown single-handedly outscoring OKC himself in this fourth quarter. 10 points by Brown out of the 18 total coming in the fourth. The Celtics defense just poured it on in this fourth quarter. Boston with nine total blocks tonight. Porzingis has four to his blocks. Porzingis just unstoppable. 27 points, 11 rebounds, 4 assists, a steal and 4 blocks. 11 for 14, shooting from the floor. 27 points in 27 minutes. Perfect. 3 for 3 from 3. Final six minutes left to go. Right to left on the floor for OKC. This is part of a 20-3 run of the Celtics in the last four minutes and 25 seconds. Gordon Hayward, former Celtic in the floor right now for the Thunder. Sends it off to Isaiah Joe. Pass out to the left wing. A three by Lindy Waters, the third, and he nails it. Celtics have their five on the floor. Looking to melt time here. There's no pressure in the backcourt. They pick up the basketball with 5.37 left to go. Holiday on the floor with Brown, Porzingis, White, and Pritchard. Tatum getting some rest deflected. Intercepted with a steal by Kenrich Williams. And he lays it up and in over Holiday. Good for two. Five zip run coming back from the timeout for the Thunder. Brown. Pressure to the backcourt, crosses midcourt, defended by Kenridge Williams. Drives inside, kick out corner, Pritchard, open three, off the mark, no good. Porzingis looking for the foul, couldn't come up with a rebound though for the follow through. Five minutes left to go, Thunder with a possession, a drive, attack, downhill, blocked by Porzingis. Fifth block of the right game tonight by Porzingis. Up the floor, Brown steps into a wide open three, top of the key, splash, he sinks it. JB with 13 this quarter, up to 21 in the game for Jalen Brown. Top of the key here with Wiggins. He drives in Porzingis. Wiggins sends it out to the top here. Kenrich Williams missed the three off the back rim. A rebound secured by Jalen Brown here. Up the floor with Jalen. Jalen at the left wing. Step back, three in the air. Skipped around the rim and out to Lindy Waters. The third collects the defensive board. The Thunder with 4.20 left to go will slow it down. So they are trailing right now in this game by a large margin. Celtics came in as a 12.5 point favorite. Going up against shorthanded OKC squad and with no SGA and no J-Dub tonight in this one here. So that's good by Mike Muscala. 
who laid it up and in off the glass. Hey, no problem, no mac macro wave. You gotta support who uh who your team is. You gotta support who you who uh you've been reading for throughout your entire life there. White at the top of the key towards his right, dribbles around the perimeter, off the porzing his screen. White swings it across the floor, left wing off the brown, brown crossover, step back, he takes it on the three, and he gets fouled. And this is gonna be three shots coming up in the free throw line for Jalen Brown. As he was able to get the defender to bite off the up fake with Kenrich Williams, who picked up the shooting foul. Hey, what's good? Andrew on the stream. Welcome in. Standing ovation by the crowd today at the TD Garden for Chris Das Porzing. 27 points, 12 rebounds, 5 blocks. Just simply not fair. If you're the Oklahoma City Thunder out there shooting over a skyscraper, playing on alien mode at 7 foot 3. Looking like a video game machine out there tonight for Porzing. It's 27 points in a 30-minute span. Savi Mikhailik checks onto the floor first time tonight. Brown shooting two free throws, or uh, three free throws. Got fouled from behind the perimeter. First one's no good. Yeah, things going pretty well. Celtics are three minutes and 35 seconds away from... Being the top overall seed in the entire playoffs. Second one's good. He'll shoot a third coming up. Mikhailik and Luke Korn out on the floor. Sam Hauser checks in. Holiday will take a seat on the bench. White takes a seat on the bench. And also, Porzingis came out to play earlier before the start of the free throws. Jalen Brown, third free throw upcoming. And got the bounce. So two out of three. Good at the line for Jalen. Jalen makes his way up to 23 points. He's got 15 of those points this quarter. Celtics 16 for 17 at the free to line. Thunder tonight 25 for 28. Yeah, really good game by Boston. Jalen Brown will substitute. He checks out of the game right now as the Celtics gave a foul. And OKC. Get the inbound here coming up. They have downgraded one of the shots by OKC to a 2 instead of a 3. 123.96. Jumper, low block. Hayward, no good. Skipped around the rim and out. 5 in the floor looks like this for the final 3.5 minutes for Boston. Peyton Pritchard, Savi Mikhailik, O'Shea Brissett, Luke Cornett, and Sam Hauser. Pritchard. Torres is right around the perimeter. Dribbles up low block. Swings it out left wing. Touch pass. Mikhailik into the hands here. Hauser dribbles up. Jumper. Baseline. He takes it. He makes it. Sam Hauser right down the middle. Delivers on the two. 125-96. Hauser works his way up now to eight points in this game. The Celtics with four out of five starters and double figures. Derek White just shy of ten points with eight. And here goes Pritchard. Circles around the key. Pritchard. Off the court at, at the free throw circle. Moves it out top of the key. Mikhailik. Mikhailik dribbles up. Crossover. Kick out to the corner. Hauser. He's got eight. Looking for double digits. Turns the corner. Jumper. 14 footer. He drills the two. Ten now on the board for Sam Hauser. Celtics putting together six players now in double digits. Floater. Too tall off the glass. Missed the mark and a shot there for the Thunder. Up the floor. Pritchard. Looking to burst out of the scene here. Pushing tempo. Blocked and pinwheels around out of bounds. It was off of Muscala. This will stay Boston ball. Hey, what's good? Jamie in the stream. Welcome in. 60th victory upcoming here for Boston. They'll improve to a record of 60-16 and 16 for the number one overall team in the entire playoffs. Hauser at the corner. Sends it off the Cornet. Cornet. At the right wing perimeter, hand off to Pritchard. Pritchard turns the corner, Pritchard up fake. Lobs it up over to top, Cordette catches, Cordette scores up and then off the backboard. 129 to 96. Two minutes left to play right now. Everybody working out in a favor for the Celtics. Nine different scores tonight, including six players and double digits. Inside the key floater is good for OKC. Celtics with the ball. Pritchard at the top of the key. Cornette sets the screen. He rolls down. Pritchard, jumper, mid-range. He dials up the two. 131-98. to 98. Just everybody making an impact here. The total 
combined impact matchup where everybody pulls their weight tonight. There's a turnover. OKC has given up. Celtics with a pushing tempo. Brissett to the rim and Brissett's got it stripped here. He did get fouled. So this will be two shots coming up by O'Shea Brissett's. Yeah, this game in the uh, on, in the U.S. is on ESPN. Oof. That's tough. 115-111. Nets lead with seven seconds left to go against the Pacers right now. O'Shea Bursett will shoot two at the free-to line. Down to 120 left to play. Before you sign off tonight, make sure to smash the thumbs up, hit the like, hit the subscribe, ring the notification bell as well if you'd like to be notified for future live streams. Both of the free throws are good by O'Shea Brissett. Total team control tonight for the Celtics. Looking outstanding. 40-16 to 16 run in the last 10 and a half minutes for Boston. Boston is outscoring OKC in this quarter right now. 40 to 15. A floater. A swoosh. It is good for OKC down to the final minutes. That's Lindy Waters the third who scored a bucket. 33 point lead for the Celtics. Final minutes. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure um, on what the timetable right there will be for uh, Randall. Secret underdog gamer. Welcome in. Thanks for joining in. Peyton Pritchard works his way up to 11 off the dribble drive penetration. 11 points, 8 assists by Pritchard, a plus 23 in the floor tonight. Celtics by 35, just an absolute clinic in this game. Corner 3 missed off the mark for OKC. They get their revenge in the Thunder tonight, and also for the Celtics, they'll get the number 1 overall seed in the entire NBA playoffs, which means home court advantage, and they'll wrap up. With a final five out of six games being in their home floor, a record of 33 and three at home this season. The Celtics will pick up win number 60 this season for Boston as their quest for banner 18 has sealed the deal in the regular season as the top overall seed in the 2024 NBA playoffs. 135 to 100, dominant performance tonight at the TD Garden for the Boston Celtics. As we go final. Thanks so much all for joining in. Being a part of the stream for this one. Chris Stas Porzingis on another level tonight. Man, he was sensational. 27 points, 12 rebounds, 5 blocks in 30 minutes. He went 11 for 14 from the floor. He went perfect. 3 for 3 from the perimeter tonight for KP. These guys were unstoppable. 24 by Jason Tatum. 23 by Jalen Brown. He single-handedly outscored the entire Thunder himself as an individual player in the fourth quarter. Jalen Brown, or uh, he almost did for Jalen Brown. He had 15 points in the fourth quarter. Thunder had 17 in the fourth quarter. Jalen Brown wraps up with 23 tonight in this game with 15 out of the 23 being in the fourth quarter. 16 by Al Horford. Horford went 70% shooting. 12 points by Drew Holiday, which he finished with the highest plus minus, a plus 31. 11 points by Peyton Pritchard. He was excellent with 8 total assists, a plus 23 in the floor. And then 10 points by Sam Hauser. In total, that was 7 players who scored in double figures for Boston tonight. Thanks all for joining in, being a part of the stream. What a game for Boston here. And, uh, wow, what a season as uh, they can... Give their starters some rest time for the final two weeks before they enter the playoffs around Saturday, April 20th or Sunday, April 21st will be their first round matchup for Boston, but they have clinched home court advantage throughout the entire NBA playoffs. We'll have the best record in the NBA going into the playoffs. 60th win this season, 60 and 16 for Boston. Incredible. Uh, quick update here. I'm not entirely sure yet when I'll be live for my next stream. So just make sure to ring that notification bell if you're interested when I do go live for the next one. My week has been uh, super hectic right now. Um, I'm training a new radio show host in my full-time job um, after hours. So I've been staying a couple hours late because I have to train the person for the afternoon show so I've been working till like six o'clock at night so that's why I haven't posted anything on the community tab because by the time I get home um, I'm having dinner and then I'm going right into a stream if I'm able to get stuff set up beforehand and stuff like that but 
it's a little bit busy for me um, during the rest of this week. I do have a doubleheader for college softball on Friday at 3-5. and five. And then I was supposed to have college baseball covering two games at 12-3 and three on Saturday. But uh, the school that I was supposed to announce for texted me today that they might move it to another date because the games might get rained out. But um, on Saturday, too, I might have to write post-game articles for another person that I've been working with for uh, college sports information inside uh, the college sports information office. But I usually don't know what articles he wants me to write until either Friday night or Saturday until he uh, t tells me like what he needs help with. So I'm not entirely sure just yet. I am hoping to do the Final Four. I, I hope to do so, but um, I if I get assigned game articles to write, I might have to stay like up at night and write those, which might uh, be uh, pushing it into that time for the Final Four. So um, I'm hoping to cover the Final Four, but I might be assigned articles, which if so, then I wouldn't be able to do so. But for sure, I plan on covering the National Championship game on Monday. Yeah, it's, it's been super busy. I, I did all my prep for Friday stream for the softball doubleheader. Haven't started Saturday because they said they might move it to another day or so, which would affect my schedule and stuff like that. So I have, yeah, I have no clue. Uh or so after Friday, I guess it's just like play by ear basically like for like the next couple of days. But yeah, things definitely get much lighter for me coming up. I know uh, next few weeks or so for me, definitely going to get lighter um, probably around like April 20th or so. But I know for sure I will definitely be back for the national championship game. I'll probably put something out in the community tab uh, when I do go live because it all depends on like if uh, games get cancel for me because some of them are rain dependent for like base time and uh, baseball and stuff uh, national championships 920 on Monday so yeah that one I definitely have had circled to cover and then I'm basically playing my schedule by ear every single day or so for the rest of this week all right so uh, we're gonna wrap up this one thanks all for joining and being a part here on the channel we're gonna wrap up and gonna close out to the channel members all channel members get a shout out at the end of each and every single one of my live streams. We got Jason, Warren, Rajeep, I am Ghost, David, Russell, John, Mark, Kelly, Jeffrey, Vegas, Oink, Oink, Michael, Katie, Bradley, Daniel, Derek, Sister Surround, Mario, Guido, Tristan, SG Sports Talk, Ice Ice Baby, Robin, Melinda, and Jack City. Thanks all for joining in, being a part of the stream for this one here. The Celtics, the number one team in the NBA, as they'll be going into the... NBA playoffs, the best record, home court advantage, win number 60 this season. The Celtics now with a record of 60 and 16 and 30 and uh, 33 and 3 on their home floor. Thanks all for joining in. Enjoy the rest of your Wednesday night, everybody. Celtics win 135 to 100 over the Thunder.